And now, each week, each week at this juncture of the show, we enter our consultation zone. If you have any problems with your favourite games, drop us a line about them, and we'll get your queries answered by the man who knows more than anyone, the Games Master. <laughs> Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? On Sonic the Hedgehog, I heard there's a secret world on Act 3 of the Green Hill Zone. Could you please tell me where it is? I can't find it anywhere. Indeed I can, dear boy. Though I must admit to being a little surprised that you haven't found it yet. Work through the level until you reach a solid wall. Instead of bouncing over it, however, you can break straight through it by taking a run-up and spinning upon him. You will then be in a secret world where six city rings and an extra life await you. Thanks very much. See ya. Oh, no, no, delighted. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? In Elvira, I can't find the four-leaf clove I need for casting a spell. Where is it? Elvira does indeed require a modicum of ingenuity. The clover can be found at the base of the hedge on the way towards the falconer in the meadow. You shall now have all the ingredients you need for casting the propitious surprise spell. Oh, thanks. Uh, next, please. Hello, Games Master. On Simon's quest, I cannot get past Deborah Cliff. What advice can you give me? To get past the very large wall that is Deborah Cliff, you need to select the red crystal and then kneel down for about five seconds. A whirlwind will then appear, which will whisk you across to the other side of the wall. <laughs> Rather ingenious, isn't it? Thanks very much. Bye. And I think that's enough little tidbits for one week. Heed my advice until we meet again. So, some juicy computer tidbits this week. And now, while I show Gary and Ali Shuffle a two in the car park, Let's find out the latest tips and cheats Games Master has for us in his consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? After hours of playing on level 3 of Strida, I cannot get past the closing wall section without hearing you getting squashed. Can you help me? Indeed I can, young man. Now listen. Instead of trying to climb up one side of the wall, you should jump from side to side. You will find that your upward progress accelerates and you should have no trouble reaching the summit before the walls meet. Cheers, mate. Bye. Uh, next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? I heard in Super Mario Bros. 3 there's a secret whistle in the first world which enables you to warp into a later level. I don't know where it is. Do you have any idea? Do I know where it is? Oh, the audacity of youth. Of course I do. The whistle is on level three of the first world. But bear with me, because finding it is a little complicated. You will need to jump on top of the fifth block of the level, a white one, then squat for five seconds. You will then fall behind the background scenery. Once there, go to the end of the stage, and you will enter a house where the first whistle is kept. Thanks a lot. Next up, please, and hurry along there. Hello, Games Master. In Robocop, how do I kill the two people at the end of level two? Good question. Good question indeed. Actually, contrary to popular belief, you don't have to kill both of these men, as one of them is actually the mayor being held hostage. You need to select the machine gun, and then, whenever the mayor in front ducks down, shoot the man behind. If you shoot him three times, he'll release the mayor and come charging towards you. When this happens, punch him and he will eventually die. Right, thanks. Not at all. And I think that's enough goodies for this little session, though I must admit I do rather enjoy my role as agony uncle. Make sure you tune in for our next rendezvous. So, some juicy computer tidbits this week. And now... While I get my breath back, let's go to Games Master and see what he's got in his tips section. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? I've heard there is a secret room on the first level of Alex Kidd. I've looked everywhere for it, but I can't find it. Is there any way you can help me? 
Hmm. I must admit, it's an awfully long time since I've had to preoccupy myself with Alex Kidd. However, if I recall correctly, there's a secret room next to the palm tree just past the third chest. Simply jump up and down to break the blocks on the ground and the room will reveal itself. Thanks a lot. Bye. On to the next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and delighted to see you. I've been playing Cadaver for over a month now. I can't get past the dragon. He fries me every time. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> a good question, young man. But this is indeed a most tenacious reptile. Follow these instructions carefully. Once you're into the dragon room, call up your inventory and drink the fire shield spell to protect you. Then select the massacre spell that you should have collected from Lord Carolus' altar in the chapel and fire it to finish off this troublesome creature once and for all. Right, thanks a lot. I wish you success with this one. Right, on to the next, please. Hello, Games Master. In Turtles, I cannot get off level three. What shall I do? My, my, you are behind, aren't you? Now, listen carefully. To get off level three, you need to rescue Splinter, who's in the building at the center of the map. Defeat Mega Turtle, and you'll go on to the next level. Thanks very much. Not at all. That's it for now. I do tend to tire rather easily these days. However, if you'd like to tune in next week, I'd be delighted to answer any more questions you might have. Bye for now. So, some juicy computer tip bits this week. Now, perhaps with a couple of tips and cheats, Eric could have completed one of his famous nine dart finishes. This is the part of the show where you can get your exclusive tips and cheats in the Games Master's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I keep running out of lives on Disney's DuckTales. Is there any way I could get any more? Still languishing behind on DuckTales? Oh dear, oh dear, you are in need of help. Now please listen very carefully. If you visit the African mines, you'll be sent back to Transylvania, where you'll find two extra lives. You can then return to Duckburg through the mirror at the start of the level. Repeat this procedure as often as you like to build up a hearty reserve of lives. Thanks very much. Bye. I'm delighted to help. Are we ready for the next? Hello, Games Master. The eyeball monster at the end of level two in Altered Beast keeps on killing me. How can I destroy it? I must say, I'm rather surprised you haven't managed to dispose of this ocular ogre yet. All that's required is a little courage and nerve. Simply get as close to the monster as possible, then activate your force field. The eyeball monster will then be out of sight, out of mind. Thanks, bye. Uh, who's next up, I wonder? Hello. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? I've been trying for hours, but I cannot kill the wart in Mario 2. Could you help me? <laughs> Simple, dear boy. Catch the vegetables which come out of the pots and throw them at wart. Six vegetables in his mouth will defeat him. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Right, you. I think that's probably enough advice for one week, but if you have any queries, you know where to come. So, some juicy computer tip bits this week. And now, while I port a few pings with Jimmy, let's go into Games Master's consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I'm really glad to see you. In Spider-Man, I can always reach the forklift boss, but he keeps ramming me. What am I doing wrong? Foolish boy. You really should have realized by now that you can't stop this particular rogue if he's facing you. So you need to leap behind him and let him have it with your web. About ten times in total. That'll do it. Oh, great. Thanks. Bye. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? On level three of turtles, I cannot jump over the gap without dying. How do I do it? You should have experimented a little, young fellow. The answer really is most simple. 
Walk straight over the gap and don't jump it at all. Things are not always what they seem. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Right, on to the next piece. Hello, Games Master. My son gave me Shadow of the Beast 2 for Christmas, and I'm finding it very difficult to get anywhere. Can you give me any tips or suggestions? If my memory serves me correctly, there are no shortcuts. But you can make life a lot easier by beefing your warriors up. Now listen. At the start of the game, walk to the right of the screen towards the pygmy. Once she starts pestering you, call up the question though and type in 10 pints. Your warrior will then be invincible. And all you have to do is to find your way around. Thanks very much. Well, you'll find it works. And that little revelation brings the session to an end. I do hope the advice is going to be of some use. Now, now Pat and Mick obviously have their problems. We can't help them. However, if you do have a problem on a computer game, send it into Games Master and we'll see what he can do about it in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? I've been playing Zelda for months, but I can't find the Guardian on level 7. Can you tell me where it is, please? Zelda does indeed require a modicum of common sense. To locate the particular guardian you're after, go to the top right-hand corner room, kill hands, and then push the rock over to the right. A secret passage will appear, and if you go down it, you will find the guardian. Thanks, love. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and nice to see you. Now, what can I do for you? I keep getting killed at the end of the dust planet in Forgotten Worlds. How can I destroy the dust dragon? Foolish boy. It sounds to me as if you've been overlooking the fact that the dragon's only weak point is its heart. Shots aimed anywhere else are simply wasted. If you stray low to avoid the razor claws and keep firing at the heart, you should have no trouble disposing of the beast. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks very much. I'm sure you'll be very glad to see the back of that one. Next, please. I've been told there's a warp on level one of Snake, Rattle and Roll, but I haven't been able to find it. Can you tell me where it is, please? Indeed I can, young man, though I do feel you should have moved on from this game a long time ago. Oh, well, no matter. From the start, keep going right as fast as possible, avoiding all obstacles. Eventually, you will see a rocket. If you jump up and catch the rocket, you can walk to level eight. That's great. Thanks very much. Well, you will find it works. And that little revelation brings the session to an end. I do hope the advice is going to be of some use. Goodbye for now. Well, all I can say is there's no place for losers on this show, only winners. But sometimes even winners have problems. And if you're stuck in a particular game, why not write in to your favourite agony uncle, Games Master? Hello, Games Master. Oh, I'm delighted to see you. Welcome to my kingdom. Now, are we ready? On Zelda, I can't for the life of me find the whistle in the second quest. Do you know where it is? I do indeed, young man. And locating it requires a modicum of initiative. The whistle is in the blank square in the middle of the level. To get there, you need to go through to the room directly above it, and then walk down through the wall, as the wall is false. Yes, thanks very much. Friendly. Well, go and try. Uh, who's next up, I wonder? Hello, Games Master. Now, what can I do for you? I keep getting killed as I run down the snow hill on the second stage of Strider. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. If I remember correctly, the secret there is not to run at all, but rather to jump as you start your descent and keep on jumping until you approach the bottom. That should enable you to jet down the snow hill unscathed. Oh, thanks very much. Bye. Uh, next, please. I wonder who we have now. Hello, Games Master. In Mega Man, how do you kill the big orange Sandman? I'm finding it's impossible to get past him. Oh, dear. More death and destruction. At least they're all villains, I suppose. Now, listen. 
To dispose of the big orange sandman, you'll need to jump over his body parts as they come onto the screen. And then, when he is completely formed, use your elect gun to shoot him in the eye. Does that satisfy your destructive lust? Yes, it does. Thank you very much. Well, enough good deeds for the time being. See you anon. So, some juicy computer tip bits this week. Now, while I take a little breather after that hectic encounter, let's find out the latest tips and cheats in Games Master's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. I am delighted to see you. And what have you got to ask me? I've been playing the game Link for several months now, and I've found a hidden town, but I cannot find a magic key. Do you know where it is, please? Do I indeed, you audacious young urchin. Once you reach the hidden town, pick up the spell and then cast it at the far right of the town. That will make a door appear. Inside that door, you'll find the magic key. Thank you. Who's next, please? Hello, Games Master. Oh, I'm delighted to see you. Welcome to my kingdom. I've heard that there's a hidden room on level two of Alex Kidd. I've been looking everywhere for it, but I just can't find it. Where should I be looking? Oh, dear, oh, dear. We really are rather behind, aren't we? You will find the room just past the cage eagle. Simply jump up and down to break the rocks underground, and the hidden entrance to the room will reveal itself. Thanks, bye. Well, I'm always here to help you if I can. We have one more today, I think. I wonder who it is. Hello, Games Master. I keep getting killed trying to get past the robot dinosaur at the end of Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters. Is there any advice you can give me? Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters? Oh, yes. Rather a tricky one, this. You need to place your character against the grey door to the right of the screen. Then waggle your joystick left and right while continually dropping bombs. This will eventually result in you stepping through the gap in the doors and away from the troublesome beastie. Great. Thanks very much. Oh, well, I'm starting to feel rather weary. Enough pearls of wisdom for one week, I think. But don't forget to keep the queries coming. If you want to be as good a player as Gary, you can either practice hard into the wee small hours or look out for exclusive tips and cheats from everybody's favourite agony uncle, the Games Master. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my kingdom. In Metal Gear, I keep getting lost in the maze zones. Is there an easy way out? Hmm, mazes. Um, I'm rather partial to a maze or two. You simply need to explore, young man. Then memorize the correct route. If I remember correctly, now let me see. Left, left, up, then left will enable you to get through this particular maze zone and progress to the following buildings. Thank you very much. Well, please don't get lost. And I think we have someone now coming up. Hello, Games Master. Hello to you, young man. In Mega Man term, having real trouble killing Dr. Wily in his alien form. Can you help me? Yes, I'm sure I can. Quite obviously, dear boy, you're not using the bubble lead. Only by using the bubble lead can you dispose of Dr. Willie when he's in the alien form. All right, I'll try that, thanks. We have one more today, I think. I wonder who it is. Hello, Games Master. I always get killed by the blue lobster whenever I play the Revenge of Shinobi. How can I kill him? Well, you need to show a little initiative, young man. When you enter the chamber, jump onto the left-hand wall. Then, as he attacks and lowers his sword, you need to jump, somersault, and shoot. If you repeat this procedure a number of times, you will overcome this villainous shellfish. Thank you very much. Well, you will find it really does have results. And I think that's enough little tidbits for one week. Heed my advice until we meet again. Now, while I take a little breather after that hectic encounter, let's find out the latest tips and cheats in Games Master's Consultation Zone. Hello, 
Goads Master. Welcome to my kingdom. Very sadly, we are coming to the end of the series, and you're one of the very last three who can take advantage of my advice. So, how can I help you? I can't get through the Lost Woods in Zelda. Can you help me? Ah, Zelda, one of my favorites, so full of surprises. There's only one way through the Lost Woods, young man. Up. Left. Down. Then left again. You can then proceed to the next part of the game. Thank you very much. You'll find it quite easy. Right, next up, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and what can I do for you? On Shadow Dancer, I keep getting killed trying to get to the top of the Statue of Liberty. Can you help me? Oh, dear young man. You know, I hate to say this, but you really do seem to be rather lacking in ability. All you need to do is to keep to the right-hand side of the platform as it rises, for then you can dispose of the ninjas as they appear to the left. By doing that, you'll reach the top of the Statue of Liberty in no time. It really is quite that simple, you know. Oh, cheers. Well, I wish you all success. And now we come to our very last visitor to my kingdom. Hello, Games Master. I've been playing Rag Gravity for absolutely ages and I still can't find the crystal bombs. Could you tell me where they are, please? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let me think. The crystal bombs in Rag Gravity. Bear with you one second. Oh, yes. If I recall correctly, the crystal bombs are in Varnia. Yes, Varnia, that's right. After you've dropped down the shaft, you will need to use the energy disk to fly under the hole in the roof. If you then jump up and go to your right, you will find the secret room which contains the bombs. Does that make sense to you? Yes, thanks a lot. Well, I'm glad it does, but I fear that brings our little get-together to a close. I do hope that some of the advice I've imparted will serve to enhance your game-playing performances. I sometimes think of pumping joystick power is not enough, and you need some help from an expert. Well, they don't come more intergalactic than ours, so let's take a trip to Games Master's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I help you? I can't find the Blue Switch Palace in Super Mario World. Can you tell me where it is? Ah, that old chestnut. The Blue Switch Palace can only be reached from Forest of Illusion 2. There's a deceptively placed illusion wall toward the end of the level. Simply walk straight through it. Thank you very much. That's quite all right. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. Hello, and just what is your particular problem? Can you please tell me how I could beat my friends at Game Boy Tennis? Practice the game, young man. Failing that, you can always cheat. When it's your service game, throw the ball high, but instead of striking it truly, step beneath it. If the ball lands on your head, you'll have won the point without raising a sweat. <laughs> Not terribly sporting, but hugely effective, I can assure you. Thanks, that's great. I know. Who's last for the evening? Hi, Games Master. Could you tell me if there are any special bonus areas on Zool? Ah, I'm rather pleased you asked this one, for Zool actually includes a special Games Master secret room full of goodies for your consumption. The room is located on the third level of the street world. Simply walk straight into the first right-hand wall that you come across, then you will reach the rewards. Thanks a lot. That's all for tonight's symposium. See you along. Some golden bonding moments there. OK, yes, so... So while Frank leaps merrily away with his newfound prize, it's time for mortals everywhere to expose their limitations and beg for answers from the Games Master in the Consultation Zone.
play games, Master. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I help you? On the game Faxana, though, I can get the ruby ring, but I can't get any further. Please, can you help? In a word, yes. Once you reach the fountain, simply push the masonry and it will move to one side. This will trigger a hidden ladder from above, inviting you into unexplored territories. Oh, thanks, Games Master. My pleasure. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. On Monkey Island 2, I can never seem to win the spitting contest. So, how can I do it? Spitting is terribly antisocial and not something I like to give advice on. However, since you ask, I'll make an exception just this once. Go to the bar, buy a blue and yellow drink, then mix them together to make a green one. Drink this green potion to make your phlegm thicker, and spit when you see the breeze disturbing the scarf around the wrist of the woman in the audience. You should now win the contest with ease. Next, please. Hi. I'm Fighting Masters on the Mega Drive. I'd like to fight my mate as the same monster. Is it possible? It is indeed. Select two players, and when choosing the first player, put the cursor over your favourite monster and press up and A simultaneously. The same character will now come up on player two. Cheers. That's enough titbits for this session. I don't want to spoil you now, do I? So, some more happy terror tets on the helipad there. After those frantic frolics, it's time for a gentle hover up to Games Master's helipad for the consultation zone. A welcome up to the helipad. What's your query? On Super Mario World, when I'm flying around the ghost house in the Valley of Bowser, I can see a key, but I can't get to it. Can it be reached? It can indeed, so listen carefully. The opening is obviously too small to fly through, so collect the P-switch and return to the mystery block. Strike the block from beneath, and a fountain of coins will magically appear. By pressing right, then up on your D-pad a few times, this stream of golden currency can be guided to create a series of steps toward the key. Then strike the P-switch, and the coins will turn into blocks, which you can ascend to reach your goal. Thanks a lot. Think nothing of it. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. I have a problem with Rex Nebula and the gender vendors. I can get out of the underwater cave, but then a large lady falls on me. You're closer than you realise, young man. From the pool, you will need to head right until you reach a pit surrounded by leaves. Collect some of this fallen foliage and use it to camouflage the pit. Bait this trap with the delicious Twinkie fruit and simply stand back. The fruit of your labour can now be seen as the obese but somewhat dense woman is lured towards your cunning trap. She'll fall into the hole and plug that perilous pit for the rest of the game. Well, thank you. Time for just one more, I think. Hello, Games Master. How can I help you? On Red Gravity, I can't seem to kill the Guardian on level 9. What should I be doing? There's a perfectly good reason for this. He can't be killed. Fire at his feet and he'll move towards you. At this point, leap lively over him and proceed to cross the fire pit with your transporter. By so doing, you will live to fight another day. Thanks. That's it for the moment, though I must say, I do rather enjoy my role as Agony Uncle. Bye for now. So, some sound advice for everyone to be getting on with there. And now it's time for Games Master to answer your pitiful cries for help in the consultation zone. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I help you? Every time I reach the last boss, Dracula, or Castlevania 4, I always die. Is there any way of improving my chances? 
There is indeed, so watch and learn. There's a secret supply of power-ups just before Dracula's inner sanctum. These will replenish your energy and increase your whip strength. Make a leap of faith into the space beneath the staircase. Keep walking left and you will drop to another platform where a cascade of essential power-ups awaits. Then return via the invisible staircase, pressing up and right on the joypad, and you leap back to safety. Thank you. That's great. It is rather, isn't it? Next, please. I've heard there's a wall for level one three on Psycho Fox. Where is it? Where is it, um, please, would perhaps be in order. Some people's manners, I don't know. At the end of the level, jump on the springs. When you reach the highest one, release the crow, which will make a hole in the background. Do this three times, and a warp door will open up. You leap into the gap, walk as far as the first pot, jump on it, pull down, and you'll be warped to world four. I think we have one more before closing up shop. On level 12 of Prince of Persia on the Game Boy, how do I get past the mirror image of myself? This doesn't reflect well on your game playing ability. Approach your mirror image, and as soon as you draw your sword, resheath it and walk on. Simple when you know how, isn't it? Yes, it is. Thanks. That revelation brings tonight's consultation to a close. See you anon. So, some juicy tidbits from everyone's favourite tipster. After that hectic action, here's everybody's favourite agony uncle with a tip or two in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad. How can I help you? I'm finding Thunder Force 3 very difficult. Is there any way you can make it easier for me? There certainly is. During play, pause the game, then press the following combination on your control pad. Up ten times, B twice, down twice, B six times, and A once. Now, when you unpause the game, you'll be equipped with the full arsenal of weapons. Thank you. Glad to be of service. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. I'm finding the Adams family very difficult. I'm wondering if there's any tips to make it easier. Try entering the password 111111 at the start of the game, and you'll begin with 100 lives. If you can't complete the game now, there's little hope for you. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. On James Bond 2, Robocard, I've heard there's a cheat for infinite lives. Could you tell me what it is, please? Of course. I'm rather partial to this one. From the start, go right and enter the first door that you come across. Once you're inside, go to your right. And just after the second set of spikes, you will see five objects. Collect the object in the following order. First the lips. Then the ice cream. Then the violin. then the Earth, and finally, the snowman. You will notice that the first letters of these objects spell the word lives. You now have an infinite amount of them. Thank you. And that rounds off tonight's tater tates. But if you need assistance, you know who to ask. So, after that veritable bevy of tips, it's time for tonight's final game foray. This week's consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. What is your query? I've heard there's a secret exit leading off the Cheese Bridge area on Super Mario World. Can you tell me where it is? Please don't question my knowledge. Of course I can. Normally, 
you would leave this level by the first set of goalposts. However, there is a second set of goalposts hidden a little further on. To reach them, simply take to the air and dive beneath the first exit with heady exuberance. Got it? Yes, thanks a lot. Who's next? On level 2-1 of Bart Simpson's Space Mutants, I can get to the floating platforms, but I can't get past the spinning lollipops. What am I doing wrong? There's an easy and rather ingenious way of solving this problem, young man. Then jump up and down on it. I'm terribly sorry about that. The sorry about that. This sea spray does tend to play havoc with one's calibra calibra calibration. I think I've managed to sort it out now, so let us continue. Um, as I was saying, there's a rather ingenious way of solving this particular problem. Jump onto the second moving platform, then jump up and down on it three times. It will then automatically transport you over the object that's been giving you so much trouble. Got that? Yes, thanks. Good. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. How can I help you? On Super Tennis, I've heard there is a way of improving your player stats. Please, can you tell me what it is? You can indeed improve your player's ability in Super Tennis, but it's a laborious process, so listen carefully. During a game, press the select button to call out the score. Then, using controller 2, enter the following. R, R, left, down, B, A, L, L. L. If you've done this correctly, you should hear some applause. Then press either A or B back on controller 1 to call up a block of numbers and letters. Single out each digit with the control pad and alter them with the X button. When all the digits on the first two rows are F, your player will be in top form. Have you got that? Yes, thanks. That brings our little communion to a close. Heed my advice until we meet again. So, some more unhappy souls have been enlightened. While we recover from that splendid demonstration of games playing, let's waltz up the Games Master who's reclining in his consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad. How can I help you? In Zelda 3, I can't defeat Ganon. A surprising lapse, if I may say so. Follow these instructions. Light both torches in the bottom corners of the screen, and then freeze Ganon with your sword. Then shoot a silver arrow into his miserable hide, and repeat the process six times to finish him off once and for all. Thanks a lot. Next, please. I've completed Cast of Illusion. I can't find any of the secret levels. Do you know where they are? Don't question my knowledge. It irritates me. <clears throat> From the start, go through the middle door. After you've met the first clown, don't go up the ladder, but instead pick up the block and throw it near the toy train. You should now be able to jump onto the cloud of smoke from where you can access a secret level. Thanks very much. Let's fit in just one more. What's your query? In Far and Ice, I've heard there are loads of hidden levels, but I cannot find them yet. Can you help me, please? There are indeed numerous hidden levels on Far and Ice. I'll divulge the first in the ice world. To get there, you will need to pass through two walks. The first is to the far right of level two, and to manage by shooting invisible bonus blocks. Once you've been walked to the next level, walk right where you'll find a cave and another hidden bonus block. Simply jump onto the block and then into the air to reach the secret level. Thanks, Games Master. That concludes this week's get-together. But don't forget to keep the problems coming. Some golden bonding moments there. And while we recover from that nail-biting climax, it's time for tips of a different kind in the consultation zone.
Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the consultation zone. How can I help you? On Super Mario World, I can't find a green switch palace. Can you tell me where it is, please? Oh, yes. Um, I'm rather fond of this one. Travel to the underground world of Donut Plains 4, and beyond the green exit pipe, you'll find four blocks going up in a diagonal. If you're unable to fly, collect a Cooper shell, hurl it at the fourth block, and a vine will take root. Climb this to find the green switch palace. Okay, thanks for your help. I hope it gives you much pleasure. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. What's your query? I've heard there's a secret room on Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion on World 1-4. Where should I be looking for this? Ah, yes. Head toward the fifth tree of the level and you will come across a tempting hole in the ground. Dive boldly in and head left toward an apparent dead end. Simply walk through the wall and you will find yourself in a room full of bounty. Thanks, that's great. That's all for now. I look forward to our next rendezvous. Crumdom seems in fine fettle this evening. Now it's time for Games Master to answer your pitiful cries for help in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad for another batch of bonding. How can I be of assistance? I keep dying on Crackshot on the Mega Drive. Can you help me? I suggest the following. Enter Dracula's castle and proceed until you reach a large pile of barrels. Using the bubblegum blaster, hit the last barrel on the second road and you'll reveal an extra life. If you wish, you can then leave the castle and proceed the process to build up a healthy reserve of lives. Thank you very much, Games Master. The pleasure's mine. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. On World 2-2 on Super Mario Land on the Game Boy, I can see lots of coins beneath me, but I can't get to them. What should I be doing? There's more to this problem than meets the eye. Simply step off to your left. If you have faith in my advice, you'll land on an invisible ledge. You can then run right to collect all those seemingly unreachable coins. Have you got that? Thanks. That'll help me a lot. I know. And who's last? Hello, Games Master. How can I be of assistance? On F-Zero for the Super Nintendo, I have heard there is a shortcut on the Red Canyon 2 course on the King League. Where is it, please? Ah, uh, yes. This one's a hoot. Race boldly along the straight, but instead of turning right at the end, carry straight on and hit the turbo button. You will hit a hidden jump pad and soar over a huge gap. You will bounce from an arrow, which in turn will propel you back onto the track a good few places up the field. Great, thanks. That rounds off tonight's tater tates. But if you need assistance, you know who to ask. My delight at seeing some more happy customers is tempered by the ominous smells wafting up from Auntie Mauritius' kitchen. And while we recover from that sterling but ultimately unsuccessful effort, it's time to go over to everybody's favorite agony uncle in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. A welcome to the fount of game-playing wisdom. What can I do for you? I'm having trouble with Bart Simpson Escape from Camp Deadly on the Game Boy. I can't get past the end of Level Guardian on Level 1. Can you help me, please? You really do have problems, don't you? The fact that the Guardian is called Blindside Bill is all important, for he can only be killed from his blind side. Simply bounce over him and bash him from behind. This advice applies to every end-of-level boss in the entire game. Thanks a lot. Yes, yes. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. I've heard there's a secret room on level 2-1 of Asterix on the Mars system. Could you tell me where it is? Heed this advice, young scamp. Simply stand on the closest platform before it flips and push right as you fall. You should hit the wall and fall into a room full of goodies. Thanks. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. What's your query? 
On another word, I just can't get past the beast at the beginning. What should I be doing? As soon as the beast jumps down, turn left and run like the clappers. When you reach the cliff, jump onto the vine and you will automatically swing past the beast and land behind him. Start sprinting back to the right and you will come across some surprising saviors. Great, thanks. That's all for this particular batch of heart to hearts. Hmm. I'm afraid it looks as if we might be in for a very stormy right. Good all. Bye for the moment. It's about this time every Thursday that I like my niggles relieved. Now, who better to relieve them than the man who has all the answers, the Games Master in his consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad for another batch of bonding. How can I be of assistance? In the Super Mario world, in the Valley of Bowser 4, I can see the key, but I can't get to it. Can you help me? Remember, what the hand can't reach, the tongue can touch. Simply guide Yoshi as close to the key as possible before penetrating this seemingly impervious wall with his probing proboscis. Thank you, Games Master. I'll try it out. Glad to be of service. Who's next? On Star Wars on the NES, how do you get past the tractor beam at the end of the Death Star? The secret on this mission is to rely upon that roguish rebel, Han Solo. But to survive, you will also need to avoid a battery of lacerating lasers by standing directly beneath the crystal. From this position of safety, embark upon a series of hit-and-run attacks against the crystal. Return to the safe zone with each attack, and you'll eventually destroy the tractor beam. Got it? Yes, thanks. Let's fit in just one more. I'm Dungeon Master in the Amiga. I fought my way through all the monsters, but I'm stuck on Lord Chaos. Is there any special way to kill him? There is indeed. The only weapon that is effective against Lord Chaos is Firestaff. You can forget about everything else. The staff has numerous powers that together will defeat Chaos. First, use the flux cage to surround him with shimmering yellow fields. Then cast a field right on top of him to immobilize him. Now use the fuse, and Lord Chaos will be banished forever. Thanks very much, James Master. That revelation brings tonight's session to a close. Farewell for the moment. Well, it's Christmas time, and we mustn't forget those out there who are less fortunate than ourselves, such as the four hopeless cases who are trying to be put right in this week's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad. What's your Yuletide query? My friends keep on beating me at Super Soccer. Is there any way I can improve my chances? There is indeed, young Tyke. From the team selection screen, hold down Start on your preferred squad and then press B. Your players will now belong to the unstoppable Super Nintendo team. If you want any help with your dribbling, find a rabid dog. Thanks very much. Glad to be of service. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. I've heard on Robocod there's a level select cheat. Could you tell me what it is, please? Yes, I can. When the game starts, hold the joypad to the left and down, pressing A and C at the same time. Then press Start, still holding down all of these buttons. This should allow you to access the confidential level select screen from where you can cheat away to your heart's content. Okay, thanks. Bye. And who's last? Hi, Games Master. Your question? On Zelda 3, how do you get the Bombus Medallion? In the bottom left area of Dark World, you'll find a semicircle of stumps next to a sheer rock face. Stand in the middle of this semicircle and warp into Light World. You should now be near a large monolith. Use the Book of Medara in front of this to receive the Bombos Medallion. Great, thanks. 
I'm sorry to say that that little gem brings Christmas consultations to a close. Don't forget to put your stockings out this evening, as um, a distant cousin of mine may well be paying you a visit. Keep the candle burning until we meet again. Some more happy campers there. While Auntie Marisha gives our sweaty challengers a more than hearty rub down, we'll go over to this week's consultation zone. Hello, young scamp. Let me guess. You've got a problem. Yes, I have. I've heard there's a hidden room on the Adams family with loads of extra lives, but I can't find it anywhere. Can you tell me where it is, please? As I'm feeling particularly magnanimous, something yes. When you enter the hall, instead of entering any of the visible doors, walk to the left until you're standing directly below the door. Then press up to enter a secret room. However, this is only the first part of this hoard of goodies. Now jump onto the platform above the door and push up to discover even more extras. Thanks a lot. That's great. Let's hope you'll now be able to get a little further into the game. Next. Hello, James Master. Good Lord, what are you doing up here? At the beginning of the London level or Dalek attack, I've heard there's an extra life and weapon to help me get started. Do you know where they are? <laughs> Impudent scamp. Run through the River Thames and climb to the top of the building you see on your far left. When you reach the top, leap as far to the right as you can. Platform steps will miraculously appear underneath you. If you take seven more steps to the right and jump, another platform will appear. Keep jumping left and right until you leap across to catch the extra lives and bonuses. This will triple the power of your sonic screwdriver and make it easier for you to destroy the ogre guarding the prison door. Thank you, Games Master, oh memorable one. My pleasure, young man. Send my regards to your relations. And who's last for the evening? Hello, Games Master. On the fall of the Foot Clan, on the Game Boy, I keep dying. Is there a way to restore my energy? Funny you should ask, because actually there is. Pause the game, then press the following. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, then A. Your energy should now be fully restored. Thanks a lot. That's enough from Tater Tates for one session. Bye for now. Three more perplexed punters can gaze into 93 with somewhat happier eyes. OK, thank you, thank you. Now, after that hectic display, it's time for some tips on games and life in general from the Games Master. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad. What is it that's troubling you? On Zelda 3, I cannot get to the second part of the Skull Forest Dungeon. Please, can you help me? At the top left of the forest, you'll find a large animal skull. Burn this with the fire rod to reveal the entrance. Thanks very much. No problem whatsoever. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. I'm sorry, but that haircut isn't good enough. I'll have another, please. Hi, Games Master. That's better. What can I do for you? On Kid Chameleon, I hear there's a warp to the final guardian of the game. Where should I be looking? At the end of Blue Lake Woods 2 area, instead of touching the flag, jump onto the bonus block above and press the following combination. Diagonally, down right on the dry pan, then jump and the special buttons together. You should then warp onto the final boss. Make some mockery of £39.99, doesn't it? Thank you, Games Master. 
I think we'll have just one more. Hi, Games Master. Hello, young whippersnapper. For Smash TV on the SNES, is there any way I can make the game easier for myself? There is, my boy. But remember, cheats never prosper. So keep this one to yourself. Select Skill from the Options screen. Now hold down the L and R buttons before pushing up on the joypad. If you've done this correctly, you will hear Bingo! Bingo! And the secret option screen will appear where you can choose to have up to seven lives and seven continues. Thanks a lot. Those words of wisdom conclude tonight's consultation. Later. Some more good old-fashioned solutions to modern-day problems. While you and Mark catch a quick chopper back to Sun Hill, some more mortals are made to look ever so slightly silly in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to my consultation area, up here on the helipad. How can I make you happy? On Super Mario World, on the Super NES, I can see the exit of Chocolate Ghost House, but I can't actually reach it. What should I do? Three ghosts need to be gently coaxed into position. Simply move toward them and move away again. Repeat this a few times, and you will entice them out into the open. Whenever you turn to face them, they'll turn into blocks from which you can leap toward the exit. Simple solutions for simple people. Thanks a lot. Your gratitude is appreciated. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. I'm finding it difficult on Blazing Skies on the Super NES. Can you help me, please? You foolish fly-by-night. From the title screen, select Continue, but don't enter a password. Instead, select End. One of the pilots, Colonel Marcel LeBlanc, will now have splendidly superior scores in every department. A tally-ho! Thanks. That's great. Yes, I might know. And uh, who's last for the session? Hello, Games Master. Yes, yes, um, get on with it, dear fellow. On level 13 of pushover, I can't crack it. Can you help me, please? This game does indeed require a modicum of logic. As you enter, pick up the tile nearest to you. Then walk right and fall onto the platform below, automatically dropping the tile that you were holding. Now go down to the lowest platform and push over the tile furthest to the left to complete the level. Great, thanks. That's enough for goodies for the moment. I don't want to spoil you. While I say my sad goodbyes to Cathy Dennis as she climbs aboard the Games Master Chopper, some more puzzles are resolved in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad and far away with your question. On Krusty's Fun House, is there a way of getting to the later levels? Yes, there is. Simply enter the following password. S-M-A-I-L-L-I-W. <laughs> That's Williams backwards. And the entire game is yours to explore. Thank you very much. Who's next? Where's the magic cape on Zelda 3? I'm sorry, but if you don't say please, you don't get your questions answered. Next, uh, please. Hello, Games Master. I am near the end of UN Squadron, but I cannot kill the Guardian that hangs from the ceiling. Can you help me, please? The answer here lies in the weapons that you can equip your ship with at the beginning of the level. Before you launch into the fray, buy the gun pod weapon. When you reach the end of level Guardian, let rip with this gun pod weapon, and you'll soon have him waving the white flag. Thanks a lot. Time for just one more, I think. Hello, Games Master. Could you please tell me where the magic cape is on Zelda 3? That's more like it. 
Go to the top right-hand corner of the graveyard in Light World, pick up the small box, then dash into the stone using the Pegasus shoes. You should then reveal a passageway down to the magic cape. Thanks very much. That's all I'm prepared to impart for now. More tidbits next week. While Ulrika gives Chris a sisterly kicking in revenge, we'll avert our eyes and turn to the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad. How can I brighten up your little life? I'm having a bit of trouble on Super Mario World. I can't find the secret exit of the Valley of Bowser 2. Can you help me? This little problem can so easily flummox the foolhardy. You will need to fly Mario off the top of the screen and guide him left, as can be seen on your screens at home. Mario won't be in sight, but he'll soon reappear with Key and Keyhole close at hand. Thanks a lot, Games Master. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. On Sonic 2, is there any cheats for infinite lives? No, um, there isn't, I'm afraid. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. That's quite all right. And who's last for the evening? Hello, Games Master. On Zelda 3, how do I get to the Tower of Hera? Go to the top of Death Mountain, and you will find a warp into Dark World where you'll be changed into a pink rabbit. Walk left, stand in the middle of Spectacle Rock, and then use your mirror to get back to Light World. If you then walk northeast, you should reach the tower. Thank you very much. That's some all I'm prepared to divulge for this week. My monocle's giving me a migraine. Heed my advice until we meet again. Well, while we mourn the tragic loss of Vic Reeves' light entertainer, on a somewhat happier note, it's time to go over to this week's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the Consultation Area. And of just how may I be of assistance? I keep dying on Captain Dynamo's. Any way you can help me? Play the game until you've gained enough points to get on the high score table. But instead of entering your name, type in the words Purple Rain and press the Return. Now, not only will you be able to skip levels with the plus and minus keys, but you'll also have infinite lives. Great, thanks. Sometimes I astonish even myself. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. Hello. On Mickey Mouse on the SNES, I keep dying. Can you give me any tips to make it easier? Hmm. I think I can help you. On the fire level, you will come across a large, water-filled hole. Instead of ignoring this seemingly bottomless cavern, change into your genie outfit and take a dive into the murky depths. Down there, you should find a chest containing an extremely handy extra heart. Thanks a lot. That's quite all right. And who's last for the evening? Hello, Games Master. And your question? On Double Dragon on the Master System, is there a way of getting infinite lives? Amazingly enough, yes, there is. Play through to the fourth level, go into the middle of the screen, and do two back kick leaps. Repeat this move until Push Start 2 appears. You now have infinite lives. Thank you, Games Master. That's all for this week. I'm suddenly feeling terribly weary. Ah, uh, bye for now. It may be just me, but I think Games Master's getting a little bit tetchy these days. <laughs> While Auntie Marisha gives Gordon a proper send-off, some more lost souls seek salvation in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Hello, young whippersnapper. And just how can I enlighten your existence? 
In the ice palace on Zelda 3, there is a room with a switch on the floor. But there is a door I cannot get through because it does not stay open long enough for me to get through. How do you do it? The easiest way to overcome this particular problem is to collect the cane of Samara from the sixth dungeon and use that to create a block, which you can then push onto the switch to keep the door open. Thanks very much. Oh, quite all right. Next, please. Hello, Games Master. I am having trouble with my soggy flans. I wonder if you can help me firm them. Hello, Morisha. How good of you to pay me a visit. Flans can indeed be difficult. May I suggest that you use more flour, less milk, and cook them at a slightly lower temperature. <laughs> Not that my temperature's ever been low looking at you, Marisha. Oh, you cheeky monkey. Bye-bye, Marisha. <sighs> Ah, who's next? Hello, Games Master. On Mickey Mouse on the SNES, I found the harp that you told me about last week, but I'm still finding it a bit too difficult. Can you give me any more help? My word, um, you really do have a severe problem, don't you? However, there is another energy heart, and it can be found on level four. Equipped with the grappling hook, take a leap of faith into thin air, using the hook to break your fall. Now, swing across the bottom of the level to a secret platform where you should find a chest that will yield another extra heart. Thanks a lot. That's all we've got time for tonight, but don't forget to keep the queries coming. My delight at seeing some more happy customers is tempered by the ominous smells wafting up from Auntie Mauritius' kitchen. While I tidy up this mess and lament the sad future of the British music scene, let's go over to Games Master's Consultation Zone. Hello, Games Master. Hello. And just what is your particular problem? I'm totally stuck on level 18 of pushover. Can you tell me the solution? When you enter the level, pick up the explosive tile nearest to you and swap it with the tile on the platform below so that the blank tile is now where the explosive one was. Hmm, let me see now. Mm, yes, sir. Next, uh, take the other blank tile from below and place it to the left of the tiles above. Now, all you have to do is to push them over and wait by the door that will lead you to the next level. Thanks. Sometimes my genius amazes even me. <laughs> ah, next, please. <laughs> well, blow me. I'm terribly sorry. I think you've come to the wrong place. <laughs> next, please. Hello, Games Master. On Pimble Fantasies, is there any way I can make the game last longer? Always looking for shortcuts, eh? I suppose I might as well tell you. You'll find out sooner or later. When the game is scrolling down, showing you the table, quickly type extra balls for... <laughs> you guessed it, <laughs> extra balls. You should now be able to amass a truly whopping score. Great, thanks. That's all we've got time for tonight. But don't forget to keep the queries coming. Chrome Dome seems in fine fettle this evening. While we ruminate on the global implications of that titanic struggle, some more questions are answered in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. What is it that is, um, tormenting you? Is there a way to defeat the Stormtrooper transport in Super Star Wars? For novice game players, this is indeed, um, rather difficult. At the beginning of the level, you should choose Chewbacca, as he has the highest stamina and will give you more time to dispose of the Empire's minions. When the transport enters the screen, go forward and crouch underneath it. From there, you should be able to take out the lower gun turret and the two back ones without losing too much energy. Now go to the right of the transport and take out the last remaining gun, leaving the vehicle defenseless. 
you should now have no trouble in finishing it off. Thank you very much. Next. Hello, Games Master. On Pinball Fantasies, I can make the cheat for extra balls work, which you gave me last week, but I still cannot get a high score. Is there any other tips you could give me? Gosh, you really are displaying a remarkable lack of talent. You're in luck, however, for I do have another cheat in store. When the game scrolls down, showing you the table, quickly type in Digital Illusions. Now your ball will never go out of play. If you can't amass a high score now, my heart bleeds for you. Thanks a lot. Time for just one more, I think. Hello, Games Master. Oh, just get on with your question, please, young man. On European club soccer on the Mega Drive, I can't get enough power into my kicks. What should I be doing? Rather a cheeky one, this. Go to the password screen and enter the word three on the top line. Shredded on the second line and wheat on the third line. You will now be blessed with shots of awesome power. Thanks a lot. Sometimes my knowledge surprises even myself. Time to give my grey cells a well-earned rest and see you anon. While Auntie Marisha gives Tony a helping hand into the chopper, we'll get a helping hand from Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Hello, young scamp. How can I brighten up your miserable little life? On Populous on the Mega Drive, is there a cheat to take me to any of the levels? There is indeed, young man. When entering the level code, enter the number of the level and then the word bit. So for level um, 145, you enter 145 bit. Got that? Thanks a lot. Who's next? How can I win at Streets of Rage 2? Frankly, young man, that sort of question offends my intellect and doesn't deserve to be answered. Um, next, please. Hello, Games Master. On Zelda 3, I found a locked chest in the blacksmith's hut in Dark World and I can't work out what to do with it. I'm mildly surprised that you haven't been able to work this one out. If you take the chest to the middle-aged thief in the Great Desert and Night World, He'll open it for you, revealing a magic bottle. Super, thank you. I hope that these tips will help alleviate some of your gaming difficulties. If not, too bad. Some more delicious pearls of wisdom for you all to chew over. Now it's time for Games Master to answer your pitiful cries for help in the consultation zone. <laughs> Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad. How can I help fill your game-playing void? On Super Mario World, I can't get out of Chocolate Island 3. What am I doing wrong? You've obviously failed to find the true exit from this level. Simply take to the air and fly beneath the first set of goalposts to find a second hidden set of goalposts further to the right. Thanks a lot. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. I'm the on Final Fight on the Super Nintendo, I've heard this worth getting more lives. Could you tell me what it is, please? When the title screen appears, press L, B, and Start to access a secret option screen where you can obtain nine lives. Got that? Yes, thank you, Games Master. Good. <laughs> then go away. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. Get on with it, young whippersnapper. On Wonder Boy in... Monsterland. I can't find the last piece of the pygmy armour. Can you tell me where it is, please? If you cast your mind back to the very beginning of the game, you'll remember that there was a chest that you couldn't reach. However, now that you've got the trident, you can go underwater and swim to the isolated chest. The last piece of the pygmy's armour is now yours. Great, thanks. 
That's all I'm prepared to divulge for the moment. My energy is on the wane. Time for 40 winks. A few more consultation members mentally massaged by the man on high. All right, it's going to take us quite a while to recover from that. These boys obviously don't need any tips, but there's a lot of people at home who do. So now it's time for the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome up to the helipad. What is it that's troubling you? I can't get into the wizard's house on Goblin's Toe. How do I do it? First of all, you need to fill up the bottle with water from the fountain. Get Winkle to use this on the toad to make him jump off the stone. Now, get Fingus to pick up the stone and use it on the mechanism to knock the ladder on the roof so that Winkle can climb up onto the wizard's house and enter it through the chimney. Got that? Yes, thanks. Good. Um, then uh, be gone with you. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. In Ganon's Tower on Zelda 3, when I reach the third floor, there is a ledge with a crack in it which I cannot get to. How do I get to it? You will need to stand right on the edge of the platform, facing up toward the two blocks. Then dash into them using your Pegasus shoes. You shall now bounce across the gap. Thanks a lot. And who's last for the evening? Hello, Games Master. What's your question? On the other hand, you're on the Super Nintendo. I just can't get anywhere at all. Can you help me? Oh, dear. What a pitiful plea. Oh, well, follow this advice. Play the game through once and then die, as you've been doing rather a lot by the sound of it. Then, on the continue screen, walk off to the left to collect four extra lives. Use them wisely. Thank you. Well, um, I hope these tidbits bring a few rays of happiness into your miserable lives. More goodies next week. Some more good old-fashioned solutions to modern-day problems. Now it's back to the slightly misshapen headed one for tonight's final challenge. To round off the evening's proceedings, I've opted for an amusing little game called Fiendish Freddy's Big Top of Fun. <laughs> As the bald but muscular Horace the High Diver, tonight's last contestant will need to successfully perform four increasingly difficult dives. To keep on course during the dive, Horace needs to carry out various aerial poses. Failure to perform these poses results in Horace being blown off course. I hope that, um, like me, you have a head for heights. While Kevin caresses his golden joystick and Sean glares enviously on, we'll deal with the queries on everybody's lips in the consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. What can I do for you? On New Zealand's story on the Mega Drive, I keep dying very quickly. Is there any way to get more continues? You're in luck, for indeed there is. On the title page, rotate the joypad clockwise. You should now be the proud owner of five brand new continues, allowing you to progress much further into the game. Thank you very much. Who's next? Hello, Games Master. In Goblins 2, I found the door near the fountain, but I can't open it. What should I do? The answer lies in the wizard's house. On the floor, in front of the fire, is an animal rug. Get a Winkle to step on his tail, while Fingus bravely reaches in and snatches the box of matches. Use these to light the fire under the teapot, and then fill it up with your bottle of water, so that the evaporating water peels back the picture on the wall, revealing a hidden key. Blow out the flames under the teapot and use this key to wind up the cuckoo clock, which will reveal yet another key. It is this key that will open the door near the fountain. Thanks. That little revelation brings our communions to a close. Do heed my advice. 
Rundum seems in. Well, it's time for a few mere mortals to show their ignorance and plead for knowledge from the games master in the consultation zone. Welcome to my consultation zone, where I offer personal tuition to those in trouble. Games Master, can I get lots of blood on Mortal Kombat for the Mega Drive, please? Well, this is a little naughty, but as you ask so nicely, on the ethical code screen, press the button sequence A, B, A, C, A, B, B, while the text is being printed. Everything will go red to indicate that the cheat has worked. Now start the game as normal. As soon as you get into battle, you will see gallons of blood flying around. Thanks. Next. Can I make Street Fighter 2 Turbo Edition on the Super List any faster, Games Master? As a matter of fact, you can. Turn your console on, and when the word Turbo strolls across the screen, quickly press down R, up, L, Y, B, X and A on the controller plugged into port 2. Now, when you start the game, the maximum speed will go up to an incredible 10 stars, making the game faster than ever before. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. My pleasure, young man. Next. Games Master, I've heard there's a secret level in Star Wing on the SNES. Is there? Now, this is a bit of a goodie. Fly through the difficult asteroids level, then fly at the two large, slow-moving meteorites and shoot the right-hand one. An egg will emerge and explode. Fly towards this and use your retros as you hit it. You will be instantly transported to a secret fruit machine level where you can play for all sorts of purposes. That's all I'm prepared to reveal this time. More problem cases next week. Well, a few helpful hints and tips there from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Well, after that crushing defeat, only the Games Master can solve a problem like Gabrielle's in the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome along, one and all, to the consultation zone. Will the first problem child please make their presence felt? Games Master. Can you help me win on strike for the SNES? It may be a little unsporting, but there's a secret team you can't normally select. Choose the World League option, then enter the following password. The letters B to T, excluding vowels. I do hope you know your alphabet, young man. Ignore the error message, return to the main menu, and start the game. Now, when you enter the team select screen, you can pick the all-conquering elite team which is much faster and stronger than all the rest. Thanks, Games Master. Next. Is there an easier way to get to later levels on Alfred Chicken on the Game Boy? Yes, there is. Get to stage two and bounce up from the start to reveal an invisible platform. Now, travel to the right of the level where you can jump through the wall to a secret room containing magic jam, which allows you to spit seeds. Exit the room and shoot a seed into the top right-hand corner. Another secret platform will appear. From this, jump up and keep running left, even though you'll be off the street, to get back to the door on the first secret platform. Go in and up the secret tunnel, where you'll find five doors, allowing you access to the first five levels. Great, thanks very much. You're welcome. Who's next? Games Master, on World 7 Level 5 of Kirby on the NES, there's a cannon that I just can't get into. What should I be doing? Eat any enemy that gives you special firepower. Now light the fuse, then jump up the first step and slide down the others. Finally, leap into the cannon, which will now fire you into a secret bonus room with five extra lives for your troubles. Thanks. Hope your screen gets better soon. Now the dim witted have had their lights turned back on in the consultation zone, we can welcome back our finalists for tonight. Well, Falcon was seriously overshadowed there in the celeb challenge. She's just the sort of star who could do with a few helpful tips from the games master in the consultation zone.
Hello, and here I am again, open to offers. Games Master, I've heard there's an underwater secret bonus level on Tiny Tunes for the Mega Drive. Can this be true? Well, normally I wouldn't advise you to listen to gossip, but this time it just so happens to be true. On level 12, make your way through to the deep canyon. Travel down the logs as usual until you reach the bottom. Don't go into the tunnel at the right. Instead, jump left into what looks like a solid wall. You will now find yourself in a secret room with a warp on the floor. Enter this to transport yourself to an underwater bonus bonanza. Thanks, Games Master. Bye-bye now. Who's up next? On the gunship too fast and on the Amiga. I keep getting killed by the enemy missiles. Can you please help me? Oh, I say. When you're in the same area as the missile attack, hide behind the nearest mountain and select your air-to-ground missiles. Now, quickly raise the collective on your gunship and you'll rise rapidly. As you appear above the mountain, quickly lock onto the target and destroy it. If it fires at you, reduce your collective and the mountain will shield you. Thanks very much. Let's have our last sad soul. I'm completely stuck on another world for the Sinesse. How can I get past the guard just after the pool? You will need to get above him to drop something on his head. Swim back through the pool, up the stairs, then shoot the guard at the top and go right. You'll be faced with a grenade rolling guard. Run through the doors, then turn and run back so the doors close and the guard is killed by the rebounding grenades. Next, you will be in a room with three chandeliers. Look carefully and you will see a reflection in them. It's actually that original guard. So shoot a chandelier when you can see he's under it. Go back and you'll see him crushed under the fallen lighting appliance. Whew. Excellent. Thanks, Games Master. After that very extensive solution, I need a break. See you all later. Well, a few pathetic players put firmly back on their feet there by the Games Master in the consultation zone. Well, after being stunned to death by Scorpio, Cobra is just the sort of chap who could do with some help from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello, welcome to my own personal benefit office. Who's our first claimant? Games Master, is there a shortcut on Mr. Nuts for the Super Nintendo? Actually, there is. On the first level, you will come across a broken tree stump. Jump up next to it, holding up on the control pad. You'll be able to enter the stump and take a different, shorter route to the end. Great, thanks. A pity you didn't know that earlier on, eh? Will the next lucky young thing come forward? I'm having trouble on Zelda for the Game Boy. How do I get to the genie at the end of level two? Oh, hold on. I'll just adjust my view. Well, you must be orderly about this. Get to the room that tells you about the key. Don't go around killing enemies willy-nilly. They need to be in a set pattern. Rabbit, Bat, Stalfos. The key will then appear, allowing you to open the door at the end of the level, and then you'll be able to face the genie. Good luck. Oh, great, thanks. Brill. Games Master, I'm a bit sad at playing Cool Spot on the Mega Drive. Can you help me at all, please? Of course I can. Pause the game and then press A, B, C, B, A, C twice. This will magically transport you to the end of the level and make you invincible too. If you can't get through now, you're beyond even my powers. Thank you. Right. I've had enough of you cannon fodder for the time being. Bye now. Well, some tips of advice from Mr. Know-It-All there. Well, Shadow seriously took the sting out of Scorpio's tail there. She's just the sort of star who could do with some help from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello. I only want questions on beat-em-ups today. Who's always getting sand kicked in their face? Oi, Games Master. I'm terrible at Mortal Kombat on the Mega Drive. Can you help? No, not at the moment. Next. I've beaten everybody on Muhammad Ali's boxing on the Mega Drive. Is there anybody else I can thrash? Well, I do know of a secret boxer hidden in there. When you're in tournament mode, enter the password H0 
seven triple zero seven Z. You will now play as Muhammad Ali against the very difficult Ali Muhammad. As you will undoubtedly find out, your opponent's victory stream is rather amusing. Thanks, bye, Games Master. Let me see. Who's next? Oh, Games Master, please. No, no, be patient. Anyone else? Can I control the bosses? I'm tough enough for this nest. As a matter of fact, you can. On the select mode screen, press left three times, right three times, then left seven times. Start the game. If the code has worked, you'll hear an explosion. You will now be able to choose any of the bosses along with their special moves. Brilliant. Thanks for that. Who's last? Mortal Kombat. Please, please help me. Well, I wasn't going to, but as you're obviously so desperate, here goes. On the scrolling head screen, press the following sequence. Down, up, left, left, button A, right and down. That spells Dullard. This gives you a cheat menu full of flags to change. For example, switch flag O on and one punch will kill your opponent. Experiment with the others for more strange effects. I hope you're satisfied. Oh, that's excellent, Games Master. Thanks. That's enough nuggets of information for one week. See you anon. Some unfortunate people thrust firmly into the light of knowledge by the old Games Master there in the consultation zone. Well, now it's time for Games Master to wrestle with your problems in the consultation zone. Welcome along to the Consultation Zone, where I offer my assistance to the needy. Who's first? Games Master, I'm stuck in the first level of Murray, who lost levels. Can you help me, please? A pitiful plea there, one I'm glad to be able to answer. On World 1, Level 2, when you reach a green pipe with a beetle just after it, jump up to reveal an invisible block. Now, you jump onto the wall at the top of the screen, Make your way past the normal exit, past a series of pipes, and to a warp that will take you all the way to the second world. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, please, don't grovel. Who's next? Hello, Gaze Master. Can you help me on the night mission of Jungle Strike, please? I am totally confused. Well, I can put you on the straight and narrow. At the start of the level, fly straight to the left-hand side of the map, where you'll find some huts. Shoot them all until you find the enemy general. Capture him, and he'll tell you the location of all ammo and fuel supplies in the level. This should make things much easier. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Who's our last visitor? I can't find the Medusa cave on the mystic quest for the Game Boy. Please help me. Right. If you've spoken to the boy in the town of Jed, his clue as to its whereabouts is the mysterious phrase, palm, trees, and eight. Now, go to the oasis at the bottom left of the map, where you'll find a pool and two palm trees. Walk around the trees in a figure of eight, and open sesame! The Medusa cave will magically appear. That's perfect. Thanks, Games Master. Well, perfection is what I strive for. Bye for now. Okay, a few helpful hints from the man on top there for all you games playing freaks. Well, if you're down on your luck and your plan's not wild, it's time to seek advice from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to my tower. What's your small personal difficulty? I'd like to put asteroids on my Mega Drive Games Master. Well, first, let me ask you a question. Do you have the game Megalomania? Um, yeah. Now, this is rather amusing. Go to the password screen and enter the letters J-O-O-L-S. This will take you to a secret bonus game of asteroids, saving your valuable pocket money for whatever disgusting things you spend it on otherwise. Oh, thanks very much. No trouble. Next, please. Games Master. I keep dying on level five of Super Star Wars on the SNES. Can you help? 
run through the level and get to the second set of rock platforms. Just have faith in me and walk straight off the cliff. Then hold down left on the joy pad. This will land Luke outside a secret cave. Fire upwards and oodles of extra lives will appear. Thanks a lot. Right, who's my final poor little lamb? Games Master, I keep getting stuck on the first world of Mario All-Stars Lost Levels. Can you help me, please? Please? Go along World 1, Level 2, to the green pipe with the beetle next to it. Jump up, and the secret platform will appear. Jump on this, then jump into the wall above. A beanstalk will appear. Climb up this to find yourself a bonus stage full of coins. Collect all these and make your way to the end for a warp to World 3. There you go. Thanks a lot. That's more than enough for now. Forty wings for me. I'll see you later on. So, some helpful hints and top tips from the Games Master and the consultation zone there. Well, if you're wide of the post or your dribbling lets you down, it's time to shout for help from the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello. Now, come forward and let me revive your games playing careers. Who's our first case for treatment? Hello, Games Master. Can I cheat on Superpunk for the SNES? Yes, in fact, you can. On the selection screen, press L, R, R, L, up, then down. A number will appear. This is your current level. You can then select any level to play on. You might be able to beat your son now, after that rather dismal performance earlier on. Oh, thanks very much. Next question, please. Games Master, Franking 2 on the Game Boy is so big, how do I handle it? The secret to completing this game is the transporter. After collecting it from the house in the village, retrace your steps back to the chateau. Place the transporter next to the recharge machine. Now, whenever you're low on energy, you will not only transport yourself out of difficulty, but back to the machine capable of restoring your energy. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Who's our last visitor? On Day of the Tentacle on the PC, where can I find the human to enter the beauty contest? Ah, a tricky one. The only human you could possibly use is Ted. Okay, he's dead, but the judges don't mind. Ted can be found in the 70s room on the first floor. Put the roller skates on his decomposing feet, then give him a push. Register him before the contestants are taken to the judging area. Go to the room with the fireplace, and the registration badge can be obtained from the candidate. So now you can enter the contest. Problem solved. Far out, man. Right, you had your fun. I'm off for a cup of tea. Marisha! Well, the aimless put family back on the track there in the consultation zone. Well, if you can't spot the full moves to make, it's time for the games master to point you in the right direction in the consultation zone. Now, who wants me to go through their little queries? Is there a secret level in Out to Lunch on the SNES? Yes, there is. On the first level of Greece, make your way to the olive tree at the top left of the screen. Jump on the trunk repeatedly. Olives fall from the branches. Eventually, a gold olive will fall. Collect this, and a magic door will appear, which leads to a secret bonus level. Go to the top of this level, using the string, and an extra life will be your reward. That's wonderful, thanks. Games Master, I've heard that there's a secret level on Dizzy for the Mega Drive. Can this be true? Yes, it can, my young friend. Enter the first tunnel in the town. Go through to Bridge Street and go to the rightmost end. There you'll find the barrel of rum. Retrace your steps back to the town and walk left to the next tunnel. Go through and you'll find yourself in Dock Street. Walk up the gangplank and drop the barrel of rum to get rid of the angry pirate. Make your way across the ship until you reach the gangplank. The pirate will mysteriously reappear, forcing you to walk the plank. Don't worry, as this leads to the secret underwater world full of rising bubbles, which you'll need to play through to get to the crucial aqua Thank you very much, Games Master. Who's lost? I can't name my plane on the carrier on Super Strike Eagle on Super Nintendo. Please show me how. You got it. Approach the carrier from the left-hand side. 
Pull back high and reduce your throttle. Then nose dive into the first third of the carrier. You will land safely and easily every time. Thanks a lot. Now I must fly off. Over and out. Some of the brainless bouncing back with some good advice from the Games Master in the consultation zone now. All right now, we're going to take a little breather while you go out and check the consultation zone. All right, so hit the consultation zone. As usual at this time, I am opening myself up for questions from the floor. Right, anyone with a clear in? Games Master, I've heard there's a hidden track of Formula One exhaust heat on the Super NES. Is it true? Yes, there is. Halfway round the back straight of the Monaco circuit, you will see the barriers in front of the water stick out to form triangles. Drive straight into the V, and you will not come to a watery end. You will find yourself driving on top of the water. After a few seconds, you will reach dry land and the secret track you have all to yourself. Fly me, thanks. I do aim to please. Next question. Hello, Gates Master. I need some help on the Adams family for the Mega Drive. All right. At the mansion house, grab the Fezicopter and fly up to the topmost chimney where there are lots of bonuses in. Now, enter the house and make your way left to a secret door for even more screens full of bonuses and extra lives. Thanks very much, Gates Master. Let's have one last one for tonight. I used to love Pong. Could I get a copy for my Mega CD? Oh, Pong, those were the days, eh? Hip, hip, pop, pop. Oh, sorry. There's a very similar game hidden in Black Ola Thought. Enter your name as A Z Y. Highlight mission B H A, then confirm your name. You'll be whizzed along to a rather snazzy secret bat and ball game called Black Ball Assault. Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. I'm afraid our time has run out for tonight. See you later on. Well, there you go. Thank you. There you go, the Games Master sorting out some people on the consultation zone. Well, if you're stuck in a hole and can't see the light, it's time to get switched on by the Games Master in the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome to my clinic for the unfortunate. Who are the first young minds to warrant my attention? How do I get past the wall at the start of the second garden level? One more on the Amiga. It's easy when you know how. Change into a gas straight away and float directly up. You'll reach a map. Now float right until you reach a free liquid transformation and bonus star. Transform into a liquid, fall down, and you'll find yourself on the other side of the wall. All right, thanks. Game Master, I'm a bit crap on rock and roll racing on the snares. Can you help me? It's actually quite possible to jump over the corners. Start the car on the outside of the track, then swing in and jump just before the apex of the turn. You will cut the corner and gain a place or two. Excellent. Bye. And our last plucky young player. Game Master. Is there a level select for Wolf Child on the Master System? Enter as a password, J8TPR. This will give you access to the first five levels. Oh, thanks. I'm a little weary, so I'm going to retire for a while. See you later. Now the clueless have been put back firmly on their feet by the Games Master in the consultation zone, we can welcome back tonight's finalist. Now, if you keep getting caught out, the Games Master will have you hitting them for six in the consultation zone. first to question my brilliance tonight. Hello there. I've got a bit of a problem with Sonic 2 on the Mega Drive. Every time I collect the animals, I seem to die. Can you help me? I'll be ever so grateful. Mm, uh, well, well, my dear, you are in a bit of a fix. You don't actually want to collect the animals. It's the wings you're after. Oh, thanks. You're so clever. <laughs> well done. Um, well, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Can you help me on Battle Toad and Double Dragon on the NES? I can't get to the wall cannon on level three. You obviously don't know about the special whirlwind move. You must choose one of the brothers at the start of the game. Now, when you're playing level three, hold left and then press right and kick together 
and you will spin yourself out of the vital cannon, making the rest of the game much easier. Thank you, Game Master. Always a pleasure. Next. Can you help me on Clay Fighter for the SNES? I like playing Mr. Frosty, but I always lose. Well, there's a special move you only need to do twice to completely fail your opponent. Crouch for two seconds, then press up and punch to perform a massive blow. Press L just as the blow connects for a devastating effect. Bill, bye. That's all I'll answer today. See you anon. Some helpful hints and top tips from the Games Master there in the confrontation zone. Now, in a few moments' time, the turbo distractors and the armchairs are going to be battling out for a place in our championship semis. So while they limber up, let's go over to the Games Master for the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome to my clinic for gaming unfortunates. Who's first for some treatment? Games Master, I can't get off level 6 of Aladdin on the Mega Drive. I keep falling off the rocks. Can you help me? Funny you should say that. I don't think it's particularly hard to keep out the lava, but this should solve your problem. While playing the level, pause the game and press the following melodious combinations of buttons. A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. If you've done this correctly, you will instantly be ferried to the end of the level and onto the next. Satisfied now? Cheers, Games Master. Next. Games Master, I've heard there's a secret bonus room for Super Star Wars on the SNES. Do you know where it is? I may be able to provide a little assistance to you. Halfway down the sand corner, jump left from the ledge. And as you fall, keep holding down left. Magically, you will travel through the wall and find yourself in a secret room containing a host of bonuses, including a blast of power. It should be an easy matter to complete the level now. Thanks, Games Master. It was no trouble. Who's next? Game Master, I need more money, Syndicate, for Mika. Can you get to me, please? Well, as you ask so directly, I'll tell you directly. On the config accomplice screen, enter your name as Cooper T. Now start the game and look at your bank balance. You'll have loads of money. You will also have access to all the game's array of weaponry including the awesome Gauss gun. Happy blasting. Nice one, big fella. I think that's quite enough of my wisdom dispensed for one session. Happy bye. Some useful hints and tips there from the Games Master in the consultation zone. OK, in a few moments' time, our two final teams will be playing their final challenge to see which one goes through the championship semis. So, while they limber up, why don't you sit back and enjoy the consultation zone? Welcome to my secret bonus room. Who wants to be the first to power up their game-playing knowledge? Games Master, on micro machines for the Mega Drive, I feel the need, the need for speed. Can you help? Ah, I love a bit of speed myself. Now, there's a superb cheat on this game that will allow you to rock it away from your position. While playing, press stop to pause the game and type in the following code. Up, down, A, B, left, right, now, unpause the game, and you'll find your car is now operating in further. Start your engines. Cheers, Games Master. My pleasure. Next. Games Master, I'm Ren and Stimpy from SNES. The big beaver, it keeps killing me. I can't beat him. What can I do? It's very simple. All you have to do to kill our beaver friend is to pick up the teeth that are located around his mouth and throw them at him when he's in rage. Repeat this process, and you'll soon get rid of him. Ready now? Oh, thanks, Games Master. That's all, I think, for tonight. Oi, Games Master, what about me? Yes, what is it? Marisha is rustling up a little something for me. I can't keep her waiting. I keep losing all my shields on Donk on the Amiga. Do you have any cheats for it? OK, try this. At the end of the level, when the klaxon sounds and the screen turns red, type in able to cheat. Now press function key one and your shields will be replenished. Thanks very much, Games Master. Now I really must go and recharge my energy supply. See you anon. A few more queries firmly answered by the Games Master there in the consultation zone. Okay, our two teams are limbering up for their final challenge 
we want to go through to the championship semis. While they do that, let's go over to the consultation zone, see what's happening over there. Hello, and welcome to another session of Games Players Anonymous. Who's first to admit their little failings? Yo, Games Master, how can I skip levels on the cool spot of the SNES? Listen up, dude. When that the Virgin logo appears, hold down the L and R keys. The logo will tilt. Now press select 30 times, and a secret cheat screen will appear that allows you to select which level of this coolmongous game you'd like to play. Respect is due, man. Who's next? Can you help me on the Arabian Nights for the Amiga? I keep dying. I have a little something which might ease your pain. On the title screen, type in the word simple. Now, whenever you hold down the Amiga key while playing, you will be invincible. Oh, yes, very. Who's last? Oh, Games Master, I want to get on level 9 on Jungle Strike on the Mega Drive. I can't get off level 1. Can you please help me? Go away and practice. Oh, but I've heard it's so good. As your pleas are so pathetic, I'll be generous this time. At the start of the game, enter this password, N-Z-Y-9-S-D-D-R-9-Y-S. Now, when you start the game, you'll be whisked straight to the game's last level, where you'll have a massive 19 lives to play with. Well, now I must bring this consultation to a close. Until next time. OK, someone who misguided put firmly back on the tracks there by the Games Master in the consultation zone. OK then, right, we're going to nip off to the consultation zone, see if the Games Master can help some people out. See you in a sec. Hello. Will the first people with desperate needs please come forward for some intensive tuition? Games Master, I've heard there's an extra life hidden in a giant Mac on the Game Boy. Can you tell me where it is, please? On stage six, when you come to the rock foundation hanging from the ceiling, wait for about ten seconds. Fruit will begin to appear and drop to the floor. Collect every piece of fruit and a bonus life will be yours for the taking. Thanks. Next. I can't get anywhere and super mad for the master system. Can you help me? I have just the thing. Enter Z-A-Q on the high score table. Now, play the game. If things get a little too frantic for you, hold down both buttons, and you'll be transported to the next level without expending any extra effort. Oh, thanks very much. I feel much better for getting all that off my chest. I'll be back. OK, now the Games Master sorted out that issue in the consultation zone, we can get on with our final challenge. OK, in a few moments' time, we've got our two teams that are still battling out for a place in the championship semi-final. But while they get ready, why don't you relax watching the consultation zone? Hello. Who was the first to enter my fountain of knowledge? Games Master. I'm a bit rubbish on the Mega Drive version of Techno Clash. Can you get me further, please? Such a simple request should be greeted with a simple answer. At the start of the game, enter this code. 003-TL-AG2. You'll be taken to the fourth level, the underground city, where we'll be given massive stocks of weapons to use on the average. This should breathe life back into your games playing. Mm, thanks, Games Master. Keep them coming. Games Master. I've come across an Indian shaman in the cemetery in Shadowrun on the SNES. What do I do? Ah, uh, this is an easy one. At the start of the game, pick up the slap patch in the morgue, but don't use it. Now, make your way back to the shaman, who is lying on the floor, not looking too well, poor chap. Use the patch on him, and he'll miraculously come back to life. You can now continue with your quest. How's that? That's just dandy, Games Master. Roll along. Who's next? Games Master, I'm crap at Alien 3 on the SNES. Can you help me? I can answer your call for help. Start the game, then hold down buttons A, B, Y, X on controller 2. Now, still holding them down, press button X and rather splendidly be awarded with a full array of weapons. If invincibility is what you're after, 
Then press button A on controller one instead. A group five. That's enough of my generosity. Bye for now. OK, there you are. A few more people sorted out in the consultation zone. It's time for those players who aren't quite as good as Sam to go over to the consultation zone and check out what's happening from the Games Master. Hello, and welcome to my consultation zone. Who is my first member with a sore problem? Oi, Games Master. Is there any way of making Rocket Knight Adventures on the Mega Drive harder? I find it too easy. Well, it just so happens that you're in luck. There's a secret option which allows you to play a super hard version of the game. When the Konami logo appears, press down six times, up twice, then down twice. You can now select to play the game on very hard difficulty level. Oh, good. Laters. Next. Games Master. I'm having problems with my girlfriend. Can you help me? Oh, well, I'm sorry. I think you've come to the wrong place. No, 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 no. We just want to know where the secret room is on Magic Boy for the Amiga. Oh, that's no problem. We can soon sort that out. On level eight of World Two, make your way to the top right-hand corner where you'll find a spring. Jump on this, then fire into the wall. You will reveal a secret bonus room where you can collect oodles of valuable goodies. I hope that satisfies your girlfriend. Thanks, Games Master. You're a lifesaver. My pleasure. Just one more for tonight, please. Games Master, please could you tell me how to get the burn arrow in Zelda 4 for the Game Boy? Ah, yes. Um, you simply steal it. Simply go into the shop and pick up the bow and arrow. Now run around the shopkeeper four times to confuse him. Then make your break for the door. If you're quick enough, you'll be able to escape. The bow and arrow is all yours, but don't go back to the shop or you'll be killed by an irate shopkeeper. Another set of queries successfully handled. Till next time. Bye. Isn't it nice to see some people admitting their shortcomings in the consultation zone? We're going to go up to the consultation zone, so you stay right there and check out what's happening, eh? Hello, and here I am, ready to receive another flood of pitiful pleas. Who can be the first to tap my reservoir of knowledge? Hello, Games Master. I've heard there's a room full of goodies in Jurassic Park on the SNES. Could you please tell me how to get there? This is a nice, simple one. First, make your way to the ship at the east of the island. Now, walk into the rock face as near as the ship, and hey, Presto, you'll find yourself in a secret room. Oh, thanks a lot. Cheers, Games Master. Don't be silly. Who's last? Games Master, are there any secret cheats in the game Brute Football for the Amiga? I do know a little secret about this game that allows you to select the league and match of your choice. On the head-to-head -head screen, type L, then the number of the league you wish to play in. One being the highest league, three being the lowest. Now press M, followed by the number of the match. For example, typing L1, M6, takes you to League 1, Match 6. You might be interested to know that now pressing the I key while playing will make you invincible. Any other queries will have to wait till next week. Bye-bye now. Well, a few more queries firmly sorted out by the Games Master in the consultation zone there. OK, then. Well, while Andy sits around and gazes admiringly at his golden joystick, you're going to go over to the consultation zone. Welcome, one and all, to my soup kitchen for the gaming undernourished. Who will be the first to sip my knowledge? Games Master, I've heard there's a secret lever on Pugsy on the Mega Drive. We can kill all the bunnies from the other game, Wiz and Liz. Can you help me, please? My pleasure. On the sixth level, you'll find a tree next to a rope bridge. Climb all the way up this tree. Collect the knife and avoid the nasties you'll see. Now make your way down the left side of the tree, back to the rope bridge. Drop the knife and this will touch the bridge's rope and send you plummeting down to the bottom of the parapet. Walk right and you will find the entrance to this secret bonus game. I'm sure you'll have a whale of a time shooting up those bunnies. Hey, thanks, Games Master. Next. 
I've just brought us all on the Mega Drive and I'm finding it very difficult. I'd like to know if there's any cheats. Do you know of any? Of course I do. Pause the game and enter the following combination. Right, button A, down, button A, right, button B, left, up, right. This spells radar blur. You will now have 240 units of energy, though only three will be visible on the screen, and 999 units of time. This should help to make matters easier. Oh, brilliant, thanks. That's all my enormous data banks are willing to discharge for now. See you and on. Well, there were some fearlessly frank answers by the Games Master in the consultation zone there. After that sharp shooting challenge, it's time for some people who haven't got a clue or a cue to go to the Games Master in the consultation zone. Welcome, one and all, to my games playing treasury. Games Master? When I'm playing the adventures of Super Dr. Franken on the snares, I keep dying. I do have a little something to help you. While you're standing at the very start of the level, press down and left, and you'll fall, travelling through the wall below you and into a secret chamber. Walk left, and you'll hear a strange noise. This signifies that you've just picked up an extra life. Now, you might be able to make it just that little bit further. Thanks. I've been playing Desert Strike on a Master System, but I can't manage to get to the second mission. I don't know what to do. Try this. At the start of the second mission, fly to a point just east of the POW camp. There you will find Jake, who has the fastest winch action and the best accuracy of all the co-pilots in the game. Next. On the cosmic space head for the Mega Drive, I can't get past the electric door on the Formica City level. Can you help me, please? First of all, you must collect the Formica City telekey, which gives you access to the teleports. Teleport from Old Rhino Town to Formica, and you will find that when you exit the teleport, you now have two cosmics. Place one on the button, deactivating the electrified door. Then take the other cosmic through and stand him on the button the other side of the door. You can then take the first cosmic off the button without reactivating the electrified door and walk him through to safety. <laughs> What could be simpler? Thanks a million, Games Master. That's enough of my nuggets for one night. Ta ta. After that great challenge, we're going to go straight up to the Games Master, check out what's happening in the consultation zone. Hello, and a very fine welcome to you all. My towering knowledge is again ready for another batch of little queries. I've heard that there's a secret track on Lamborghini for the SNES. Can this be true? There is, but be warned, only experts on the game will be able to find it. First of all, you must use your driving skills to get yourself into the highest division in the racing league. Now, while you're on the New York circuit, click the pointer on the American flag. Hey, Presto, you'll be introduced to a crazy psychedelic track that's longer than any other in the game. Thanks very much, Games Master. I want another. I can complete Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition on the Mega Drive easily, even on the hardest level. Is there any way of making it harder, please? What's your joypad like? Does it have six buttons? Luckily, I can help you out here, then. Turn your machine on, and when the Capcom logo appears, enter this code. Down, Z, up, X, A, Y, B, C. Now, all the normal kicks and punches are deactivated. And to make your opponent feel something, you'll have to do a special move on him. That's great, Games Master. Brilliant. That's all for tonight. I find my energy wilting. They needed some help, and they got it. Right, you see my Games Master? Now we're going over to the consultation zone so he can help the luckless. I am again ready to put a few more poor souls on the straight and narrow. Who's our first lost cause? Games Master, on Kevin Keegan's Player Manager on Super Nintendo, I've got a very settled squad, but I keep getting loads of transfer requests. What can I do? Poor 
Oh, poor Kevin. You are having problems, aren't you? Well, you can always give your team a bonus. The bigger the bonus, the happier the team. If you can't afford that, then why not give them some time off training? They could possibly do with a break. Games Master, I'm stuck on the first stage of Level 2 and James Bond the Joel and the Master System. Can you help me, please? This is an easy one. Go to the far right of the level and stand on the cue cases. Turn right and shoot. After about five shots, a secret platform will appear. Jump on this and you'll find yourself whisked to the top of the level. Thanks, Games Master. You're the best. Who's lost? Games Master, on Kevin Keegan's Player Manager on Super Nintendo, my team are in the doldrums. What can I do to lift the morale? Frankly, Kevin, you're wasting your time. You obviously have no aptitude for the game. Ever thought of tennis? Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thanks, Games Master. That's enough happiness spread for one day. I'm off. Bye. You see, you're never alone in the consultation zone. There's some people who are even sadder at video games than the Crash Dummies. So we better go over to the consultation zone and see what the Games Master's got in store for them. And welcome to my consultation zone. Who's first with a problem for me? Games Master, I'm totally useless at Lotus Turbo 2 on the Mega Drive. Could you help me, please? I know what you need to do. On the options field, change the password to pod space P. You will now be whisked away to a secret shoot 'em up hidden inside the game. You're obviously a useless driver. Oh, thanks. Next. Games Master, I've heard that there is a secret driver for the rock and roll racing for the SNES. Is it true? Yes, there is a secret driver, and this is how you select him. On the character select screen, press right on the drive pad until a cartwheel appears. Now hold down the left, right, and select buttons. While holding these, press right on the joypad. pad. And the mystery driver will appear. Olaf the Viking, from that other game, the Lost Viking. Shoo him, and you'll have the best driver around. Games Master, I can't get past the second level of Indiana Jones on the Game Boy. Could you help me, please? Oh, pathetic. On the password screen, enter the following code. D, H, 1, 2, 4, 4, 1, Two, six, eight. And you will start the game on the wondrous level three. Oh, you're so great. I've given quite enough for one day. I'm off for a recharge. See you anon. Well, a few more computer criminals put back on the straight and narrow there by the Games Master in the consultation zone. Well, OK then. Well, there's some people who haven't got the force with them, so they need to go to the Games Master in the consultation zone and get a little bit of help. And welcome. Who's first to receive my games playing kiss of life? Games Master, I'm stuck on the first world of the Empire Strikes Back for the Super Nintendo. Can you help? On the second level of World One Planet of Hoth, there are two bridges that crumble when you walk over them. Stand on the second one and wait for it to crumble. As you fall, push left and you will magically land on an invisible platform. If you shoot into the air around you, you'll reveal a host of power-ups. Brilliant, thanks. Bottoms up. Who's last? Games Master. I keep finishing bottom of the league on Premier Manager 2 for the Amiga. Do you know how to help? Go to the telephone screen and dial this number. 896610. And you will find yourself in front of a particularly generous flute machine. Spin the reels, and each time you'll find that you hit the jackpot and win improvements in your player's attributes. After just a few spins, you have the fastest and most skillful team around. Oh, brilliant. Thanks. Excellent. Another problem bunch successfully handled. Bye-bye. 
Well, there was more tips there than... OK, now it's time for many burning questions, from Super Mario to the continued employment of Danny Baker, to be answered in the consultation zone. Welcome to my consultation zone, where the lost souls among you can receive a moment's solace from your games playing angry. Who's first will do personal attention? Hey, Games Master. When I'm playing Mortal Kombat 2 on the Mega Drive, I keep seeing strange characters hiding behind the trees in the living woods level. Who are they? The characters you see appearing are Smoke and Jay, hidden commoners that only the privilege can access. To unleash Smoke, keep an eye out for the little type who pops up now and then, shouting Toast. As soon as he appears, you must press Start and Down together. Instantly, you will find yourself face to face with Smoke. You can only reach Jade if you're playing a one player game. Work your way through the battle plan until you're fighting the character proceeding the mysterious question mark. Now, here's the trick. Defeat your opponent using only low kicks and lo and behold, you'll be transported to face Jade. Any other questions on this beat em up gore fest? I've heard there's a secret mode on Mortal Kombat 2 on the SNES where you transform into a different character when you get beat. Indeed there is. Turn on your console while holding down the left and right buttons. Keep holding them, and after a few seconds, you'll be greeted by the figure of Shang Tsung. Now, when you enter the game, you'll find yourself in the secret two-player tournament mode, where you can select a team of four players to fight with. How's that? Oh, thanks, Games Master. Well, that's as much help as I'm prepared to offer at the moment. See you next time. Well, now hopefully Bruce will have some more time on his hands to gaze lovingly at the Games Master Gordon Joystick. And a round of applause again for Bruce Darren's Little. As the Beatles once sang, you get by with little help from your friends. For those of you with no friends, here's the consultation zone. consultation zone, where once again my joystick expertise will lift weary souls to another level. Who's first to arrive? Games Master, I really like Pete Sampras tennis on the Mega Drive, but is there anything secret in it? How about two secret games hidden inside? First, on the main menu, select World Tour. Now, choose any player, but don't enter your name. Select Yes to entering a password, and enter Zephyr. This isn't just a lot of hot air, but the way you gain access to the secret office on the main menu. Huge Tour is a massive tournament in which up to eight people can play. Select Crazy Tennis, and you'll find yourself playing with some very strange characters and the biggest racket on the circuit. That's cool. Time for new balls, please. Games Master, I'm a bit worried because I keep kicking the ball out of the pitch on FIFA Soccer and the Mega CD. You must be able to help me. Well, try this. Go to the options screen and enter this code, CCCBAAAB. Now, when you play the game, you'll find there's an invisible wall surrounding the pitch. You can bounce your balls off it as much as you like. Satisfied? Thanks, Games Master. That's wicked. Next. I have a problem with Mighty Max on the Game Boy. On the second rim of the Hannock World, I keep getting stuck. What do I do? This one's easy. First of all, you must push the trampoline until it's on the top of the last box, but one. Jump up, walk across, and swap your bag for the duck. You'll need the duck later. Walk back and wait at the third brick from the right. Lo and behold, the lively fellow will magically float up and take you to the door you've been wanting to reach. Easy when you know how, don't you think? Nice one, Games Master. Thanks. That's enough wisdom for one session. I'll be back soon. See you in all. And now it's time for some more lost souls to seek consolation in the consultation zone. Greetings from my video gaming boards. Who's first to try and break my bouncing back? Games Master, I've heard that there are a load of fire bombs hidden in Super Metroid on the SNES. Is that true? You mustn't believe all you hear, but in this case it happens to be true. Luckily, it's quite simple. First, collect the jump boots from your fair area A. 
Which once done, return to Winster Area F and destroy the evil crane to get the barrier city. Go back again to North Air, this time to Area F, and collect the speed booster. Back in North Air A, dash past the rooms with the closing doors to get the crucial ice beam. Finally, return to Winster Area A. Once there, use the ice to reach the top of the chasm and follow the path right down the left. And you'll finally be rewarded with those super fire bombs. Ah, oh, thanks, Gaze Master. Any other simple ones? Gaze Master, I'm really good at micro machines on the Game Gear. Is there any way of making it harder? Indeed, there is. When you've almost completed the qualifying lap, turn the boat right round and go back over the line. You will now find that you've got super turbo speed. That should keep you speed tweaks happy. Thanks, Game Master. Bring on another. Are there any power-ups hidden in Cybermorph on the Jaguar Games, Master? Actually, there are. And the clue to get them should have been given to you while flying over the planet Codex. There, etched on the surface, you will see the code 6009. Go to the planet selection screen and enter this code on the keypad. You will be transported to a new universe with planets whose names are unknown. Select the planet in the bottom right of this galaxy, and you will find it to be the most bountiful planet in the solar system. Collect all the power ups there to give your car extra weapons and fuel. That's great, Games Master, thanks. Once again, I've spent my forces in the pursuit of the common good, so I'm off for a rest. Very bye. And there we have it. Living proof that celebrity status does not prevent you looking a bit iffy when your pants are on the line. However, we can eradicate those embarrassing moments in the consultation zone. Welcome to my consultation zone, where once again I should provide a lifeline to games players drowning in the sea of ignorance. Who's first to camp aboard? Games Master. I've got Mega Man X, but it doesn't seem to have fireballs like Street Fighter 2 does. Don't be so wet. Of course it does. Here's how to get them. After feverishly killing all the bosses and collecting every sub tank, ignore your better judgment and enter the armored armor below. While your energy is still strong, ride the minecart until it comes off the rails. Jump up and collect the pod you'll find there. Then throw yourself off the ledge. Do this four times, and upon collecting the pod for the final time, the bloody Dr. White will take pity on you and give you a special fireball power up. How's that? Well, thanks, Games Master. Who else is a gift? Oi, Games Master, I want a level select on Jungle Book for the Mega Drive. Will you give me what I need? Oh dear, you are a sad fellow, aren't you? Pause the game and enter this melodious code. A, B, B, A. A, B, B, A. And lo and behold, you'll be granted access to all the wonderful secrets of the game. Frankly, I find this cheat barely necessary. Get it? Cheers. I spy another bedraggled games player in need of resuscitation. What's the problem? Games Master, I really need your help. I'm Joe Manor's football in the 3DO. My quarterback keeps taking hits. Can you help me? You're having trouble with those funny shaped balls, are you? Here's what to do. When on the fence, call a pass play. A deep hand is best. After hiking the ball, run about 20 yards or so backwards and throw it to one of your deep receivers. They'll almost always catch it for big yards. Easy when you know how. Nice to catch, Master. You're terrific. Well, that's enough charity work for the day. I'm afraid the rest of you will just have a sink or swim on your own. And while I try and offer Andy a bung in the hope he'll sign for Celtic, let's go to this week's consultation zone. Third, a welcome to my personal stock exchange of games playing information. Who's first for some uh, insider degree? Games Master, I'm having real difficulty getting off the first level of time tracks on the SNES. I really need some help. I may have a little something to ease your pain. On level one, when you enter the room after blowing out the wall, you will see a key just below you. Collect this and keep travelling until you reach the trap door. Jump up at it and the key will automatically be used, opening up a room full of useful items. 
these may help to get a little bit further. Okay? Thanks, Games Master. You're a lifesaver. Who's next for a personal bond? Games Master, last week you gave me a cheat for level select on Jungle Book for the SNES. But when I put it in, it took away all my energy and left me with 10 seconds to complete a level and laughed at me. Well, I could say that, that serves you right for wanting to cheat. But as you're obviously so pathetic at the game, I'll have mercy and give you the real level select. Make your way to the prickly pears at the bottom of level one and jump off to your death. Just before hitting those most unforgiving of fruits, pause the game. Now type bag, crab, lard, ball, curl. And you'll be given access to a wondrous level select menu. Now go away. I only want the best games for you, see yeah? All right, Games Master. Cheers. Next. Games Master, I can kill everything on Tempest 2000 in the Atari Jaguar. I really like the bonus levels, but is there any way of getting straight to them? Here's the rules. Turn on your system while holding buttons 1, 4 and 7. Still holding the buttons, select the game you wish to play and you'll hear a rather pleasant voice congratulate you on having activated the cheat. Now, when playing, press button 6. You'll be granted access to those spectral bonus levels. Out of this world, man. Thanks a lot, Games Master. Well, trading is closed for another show, so I must turn down any other period needing personal attention. See you anon. Now it's time for the man to give more advice with less weight than Claire Rayner in the consultation zone. Hello. It's time for me to suffer another bunch of lost souls with terrible afflictions to enter my consultation zone. Unfortunately, I can only solve their games playing deficiencies. But who's first? Games Master. I can't get through the first level of Hulk on the Mega Drive. What am I doing wrong? You need to put on a bit of weight straight away. On level one, walk to the first sewer and drop down. Jump up and walk to the left. And like it there, you'll find yourself in a secret room containing a health power. Collect this, you'll find yourself a dazzling shade of green that becomes your improved statue. <laughs> better now? Much better, thanks. Who's next for some relief? Games Master, at the start of level 4 on Rough and Tumble for the Amiga, there's a platform with lots of power-ups on it that I can't reach. Do you know how to make the stretch up so I can reach them? You will need to have faith in them if you're going to fulfill your ultimate goal. First, make your way to the very far right of the level. Then, travel up. You will come to a point where you can see a number of coins suspended tantalizingly in the distance. You seem to reach a dead end. Now make a leap of faith toward the coins, and this one magic, a hidden platform will appear under your weary feet. Now you can make your way to the original platform, where you'll be rewarded with a host of powers. Thanks, Game for us on that one. Who's next? Games Master, I'm not very good at theme park on the PC. Nobody ever comes to my park. Could you help me, please? Well, it's a game of swings and roundabouts, but I think I may have a little something to set your big wheel in motion. Enter this nickname, then go up to the park screen and press Alt and Z, Control and Z, and Shift and Z to get all the lines, drops, and pieces respected. That should put some hot air into your balloons. Great, that's Mega Games Master. Well, I'm afraid it's time to think another consultation session for close. Till my next audience. Ta ta! Okay, while I take some more cheap shots at Pat Bonner when he's too far away to do anything about it, we'll have a look at this week's consultation zone. Greetings, one and all. Welcome to the consultation zone. My personal bulletin board for games being failures all over the world. Who's first to come online? Games Master, I've got a problem with my dad. Could you help me? I'm sorry. I really think you've come to the wrong place. No, no, no. You see, we really love playing level four of Battle Corps on the Mega CD. Except it takes us ages to get there. Could you lend me some advice? Oh, I see. Well, try this. While in practice mode, pause the game and enter the following code. B, A, B, A, R, A, C, up, star. The screen will flash, and you'll be given access to a wondrous level select menu. Send my regards to your father. Thanks, Games Master. He'll be thrilled. Another satisfied customer. 
Next. Game Master, I can't release the very last Merry Man on Benefactor on the Amiga. How can I get him over the gap? Well, if this is the only time that you have to perform this trick in the game, I'll forgive you for not knowing it. You need to be humble. Lie across the gap and allow yourself to be used as a bridge. That happy little chap will walk straight across you toward the next part of the level. Personally, I have never let myself get walked over like that. Thank you, Games Master. Nice one. Next. I really like doing battle with the snake boss and super drop zone on the SNES, but I get bored playing through to him. Can you help me, Games Master? That's an easy one. Go to the option screen, then enter the following level code. Four, one, two, O, one, O, one, eight. And you'll find yourself face to face with this fearsome boss. Attack him from both ends of this package employee here. Okay? Thanks, Games Master. That's massive. Well, once again, I've spent my forces in the pursuit of the common good, so I'm off for a rest. Howdy, bye. All around the country, gamers' lives have stopped just like that. Let's lubricate their limbs once more in the consultation zone. Tonight, I am conducting an experiment to find the saddest human beings in the country. Any volunteers? Games Master, does plugging Sonic 1 into Sonic & Knuckles give me any extra features? You mean, is it backwards compatible? Well, it's a little known fact, but it is. Plug Sonic 1 into Sonic & Knuckles, and when presented with the no way message, press the A, B and C buttons together. This will allow you to play a hidden 3D bonus game with an infinite number of levels. Try repeating this trick with some of your non-Sonic games. Thank you, Games Master. Next. Games Master, how do I get one of the really powerful weapons on Doom 2 on my PC? Well, you could collect them, as everybody else does. But if you're really impatient, you could type this code while playing the game. I, D, K, F, A. This will give you all the weapons, including the grizzly chainsaw, but I don't think we should be playing with that. Thank you. Let's have a good, wholesome one. Games Master, I've had Donkey Kong Country for four hours and I've got to the orangutan level. Can you tell me where the bonus is? Not finished the game yet. Tut, tut, tut. Well, the trick on this level of jungle japery is to collect espresso and return to the start of the level, to the ledge that had the Donkey Kong barrel on it. Fly to the left and you'll enter the bonus area full of flying letters on which, um, surprise, surprise, must be collected in order. Very taxing. Ah, oh, thanks, Games Master. Well, that's it. My experiment is over. I shall leave you to draw your own conclusions. See you soon. <laughs> And now, for all those out there with combination skin, some other personal problems are answered in the consultation zone. Hello. The blinds are up, the counter's open. It's time for another batch of bankrupt games for us to be brought to account. Who's first to settle up? Games Master. I think Pink Panther on the SNES is great, but I can't get off the first level. What should I do? Well, I suppose I should help you. Kill me. Then, on the continue screen, press select and up on joypad 2. This allows you to walk pink past the game over. You will find yourself presented with lots and lots of red bags, each representing a level. Pick up a bag, then hold select and up, again on controller 2, to walk back across the game over. Go to the continue door, and you will find yourself transported to the level you want. I'm sure you'll be happy now. Thanks, Games Master. Next. On Shadow of the Beast 2 on the Mega CD, I've got to a cage just after the acid pools, but I can't get any further. What you need to do is to use the clamp to break your rocks. The clamp's operated using the switches. Use the middle switch to move the clamp above the big rock. Then the bottom and top one to lower the clamp and close its jaws around the rock. Now, drop the boulder using the top switch and see it break into smaller rocks. Next, push the rock onto the seesaw, 
climb three quarters of the way up the rope and leap off onto the seesaw. If you got it right, the rock will be catapulted into the right hand cage. Now run into the left cage and you'll find yourself moving smoothly up. Elementary, don't you think? Thanks, Games Master. One more, please. Hey, big guy. I'm really, really bad at micro machines on the Game Gear. Do you have anything to help me? Of course I have. All you've got to do is to race around the first course breakfast bin in the wrong direction. An unusual sound will indicate that a special key to be activated, making it impossible for you to lose a race. Even you should find yourself on the winning rostrum now. Games Master, I'm so grateful. Well, once again, I've spent my forces in the pursuit of the common good, so I'm off for a rest. Howdy bye. <laughs> And while we mourn the sad loss of another teen pop sensation, let's cheer ourselves up with the consultation zone. Hello. It's time for me to suffer another bunch of lost souls with terrible afflictions to enter my consultation zone. Unfortunately, I can only solve their games playing deficiencies. But who's first? Games Master. I like Benefactor on the Amiga, but I can't get off the bungee jump without dying. What you need is a friend. Pick up the first Merry Man and run to the right. Let him go down the ladder and head toward a small gap. Then jump off the top ledge onto the bungee jump, collecting the keys as you fall. At the bottom, our little friend will make a small bridge appear under your feet, allowing you to jump off the roof safely. Thanks, Games Master, that's great. Bring on another. All my friends get angry at me because I take too long choosing my character when I'm playing Mortal Kombat 2. Can you help me? Well, try this. While you're on the character select screen, move the cursor onto Liu Kang. Then press up and start together. A character will automatically be selected for you. Try to be a little less spineless in future. Any other simple ones? Hey, big guy. When I'm playing Banshee and the Amiga, I get really annoyed by the polar bears. There must be a way I can liven them up. This one's easy. On the high score table, type the following reprehensible code. I am exquisitely evil. This way into you in that kill the polar bear mode, where you'll be able to put a grisly end to his cuddly capers. Thanks, Games Master. That's enough wisdom for one session. I'll be back soon. See you anon. And now, some more good old-fashioned Christian folk go down on bended knee, genuflect like crazy and say, please sir, can I have some help in the consultation zone? Hello, and welcome to my agony column for confused games players. Who's first to make me suffer? Games Master, I'm a bit short-sighted and find it difficult to see what's going on on Super Stardust on the Amiga. Is there any way of making it bigger for me? No, but I can give you tunnel vision. Enter this code. C-E-S-U-Q-A-A-Q-F-F-X and you'll start the game at the first tunnel level, which, for everyone else, looks like this. Next time, go to your optician before pestering me. Nurse, bring me another. I'm Psycho Pinball on the Mega Drive. I prefer to play the bonus table, but it's so hard to get to. Help me, please. Haven't you anything better to do? While on the main table, pause the game and enter B A B B A C A C. This will take you straight to the sub game. Subnormal, more like. Who's next for community care? Games Master, a few weeks ago you said there were some secret levels on Earthworm Gym known as the Dark Rooms. How do I get to them? No, I think you'll find it was actually Mr. Diamond who said that. But, um, as the universe's games brain, I can tell you where they are myself. On lab level five, jump into this easily missed box, and you'll find enlightenment in the dark rooms. All clear now? Thanks, Games Master. Have I suffered enough? I think so. I'll be on the couch with my joystick, if anyone needs me. I hear the wailing of spoilt brats everywhere. So now it's time to eradicate their ennui in the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome to the hottest counselling session on Earth. Who's first to try to light my fire? 
Please, please, Games Master. I want to get to level three on Micro Machines 2 on the Mega Drive, but I'm stuck on level two. Can you help? Not many people know this, but each level contains a secret warp. On level two, travel to the left-hand side of the course, leave the track, and you will eventually find this portal. Enter it, and before you can say, beam me up, Scotty, you'll find yourself racing against William Shatner. Another enterprising solution. Nice one, big fella. Don't be cheeky. Next. Game Master, Bubsy 2 on the SNES is the most bizarre game I possess. Is there any way to make it even more bizarre? Of course. Enter this code on the title screen. B A B Y. Now, when you play the game, all the floors will have turned to rubber. Hold down the jump button, your feet on the ground. That should put a swing in your step. Thanks, Games Master. Any big queries? On Alone in the Dark on the 3DO, how do I get past the two winged monsters at the top of the staircase? First, go to the room containing the four poster bed and smash the bars to reveal a key. Now, go to the chest of drawers and use the key. You will find two mirrors inside the chest. Now, make your way to the demons and place a mirror on each of the corner statues. The demons are so hideously ugly that one look in the mirror is enough for them to die of embarrassment. Thank you, Games Master. I've had my fill for one session. The rest of you will have to wait. Till next time. Now, Games Master gives us a glimpse at what's under his helmet as he shares his knowledge with us in the consultation zone. Hello. I think, since we last met, I've acquired the amazing ability to see into the future. I see a venerable, caring figure dispensing invaluable nuggets of wisdom to a never-ending line of hopeless games players. Anyone got any thoughts? Games Master, I want to become an all-powerful Time Lord. Grant me my wish. Time travel? Let me see. Okay, how about this cheat for the new version of the classic game Pitfall? On the Temple of Copan level, near the beginning, you will see a gargoyle. Travel up from here, and when you reach the level above the blocks, go left, and you'll reach a platform with a door on it. Enter the door. Inside, go up and travel right to reach a magic portal. You will be warped back in time to 1982, to an exact replica of the original Pitfall game as it first appeared on the Atari 2600 12 years ago. Ah, those were the days. Oh, thank you, great one. Who's next to enter my crystal ball? Games Master, I like the game Z-Wolf. It's really wicked, but I'm not too keen on helicopters. Can you help me, please? Well, you could buy a different game. Alternatively, keep your money in your pocket and enter your password as F R A M P A G E, and you can start the game as a pilot of a maneuverable but lightly armored jet fighter. Who's the greatest of them all? Thanks, Games Master. Just one more, please. Games Master, on Power Drive on the Mega Drive, my driving's worse than a two foot pensioner. Please help. Try this shortcut. On the Great Britain level, as you come out of a sharp left-hand bend in the bottom right of the track, rear off the road through the gap in the trees. You will find a secret path which dramatically shortens the length of the circuit. How's that, my child? That's great, Games Master. Thanks. Even I sometimes run out of interesting things to say, so I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye. classic stuff that made Games Master famous in the consultation zone. Hello, and a very Merry Christmas to you, one and all. Who's first to gobble the turkey? Games Master, I've heard that you can change the track on Checkered Flag on the Jaguar. Please enlighten me. No. However, I will be able to darken your view of the entire game. Go to the option screen and highlight the weather option. Now press the following on the numeric joypad. Eight, four, seven, three. This will give you a new option to allow you to race all the tracks at night. That's magic, Games Master. Bring me another. Games Master, 
My mate says that there's a secret bonus area on Millstone Mayhem level of Donkey Kong Country where he's collected up to 50 bananas. Is he lying? The bonus level you want is actually on the reptile rumble level. Get to the second barrel with DK on, jump into the barrel nearby, and you'll be fired all the way to the secret bonus level with more bananas than seeds. That's enough monkey business for now. Oh, brilliant. Thanks, Games Master. Who else didn't pull a cracker? Games Master, can I get a level select for Earthworm Jim on the Mega Drive? You're having trouble with your little worm, are you? Try this. Pause the game and enter this combination of presses. A and left together, then release. B, B, A. A and right together and release. Lastly, B, B, A. Now unpause the game and the programmers appear, followed by a secret cheat menu which features a level select and a couple of other interesting devices for bringing new life to your little Jimmy. I love you, Games Master. I'm off to lie down. I've had enough turkeys for this year already. Now it's time to lighten the burdens of hapless folk everywhere in the consultation zone. Greetings. The flames are on. Welcome, one and all, to Cooking with Games Master. Who's first for a tender drilling? Games Master, I look up to you very much. I'd like you even more if you could help me out. Are there any secret tracks and street races on the SNES? Get ready to burn the rubber, as you young people say. Because, yes, there are a number of secret tracks giving even more of your money. On the option screen, put the cursor on Custom Cup. Then press L, R, L, R, X, Y. This will give you four extra tracks to exhaust yourself on. I always supply the best gear. Thanks very much. I'll treasure that always. More lard, please. I've heard that you can get a super gun on Death Mask on the Amiga. How interesting. I suppose you want to know where to find it. On the prison level, after collecting the key, open the door at the end of the first corridor. Destroy the robot that blocks your way, and just over to the right, you will notice two skulls on the floor. Push the wall between the skulls to uncover a secret room filled with power-ups and a super big gun. This should put the frighteners up any would-be attackers. Cheers, Games Master. See you later. One more before I gobble the turkey. Games Master, are there any fatalities on bulls on the Mega Drive? No. But after defeating your opponent, try pressing A four times to see the winner's special after Stomp Blue. Each character does something different, but all require a lot of balls. I hope I haven't shattered your illusions. Okay, thanks, Games Master. I made a meal out of those vegetables. Now I'm off for a lie down. Later, dudes. Descartes said, I think, therefore I am, except he said it in French. Now, we're all going to speak the universal language of help in the consultation zone. Welcome, one and all, to the furnace, where, once again, I'll try to relight the careers of extinguished games players. Who's first to get on my wick? Games Master, on the PC game Magic Carpet, I never seem to have enough speed when I need it most. What can I do? If you're in a tight spot, and don't have enough mana to cast an accelerate spell, quickly turn yourself left to a 45 degree angle from where you want to fly. Now, hold down the forward key and the right straight key, and you will actually fly quicker than if you flew in a straight line. That should keep the wind in your sails. Thanks a lot, Games Master. Who else wants a fire up? Games Master, is there a way I have to power myself on Power Rangers on the SNES? You want to play this game against a friend, do you? Well, enter this password, 1007. And the game will no longer be a dull one-player beat-em-up, but an exciting, <clears throat> well, um, a two-player one-on-one beat-em-up. Cheers, Games Master. I appreciate it. Let me indulge one more query. Games Master, I got a new game for my CD32 called Dark Seed, but I'm stuck. I think I need to use a car, but I don't have any keys. All I've got is microfish. Can you help me? I think CD32 owners need all the help they can get. If you use the microfish reader, you'll know that the keys are in the cellar. 
Go there, and you will see a loose stone. Pick it up, and look into the hole. Ta-da! You'll find the keys. But you'll have to find some petrol before you can drive. Thank you, Games Master. I think I've worked quite hard enough tonight. I feel almost burnt out. See you, bright sparks, later. And now it's time for Games Master's font of knowledge to spray forth in liberal doses as we all splash around in the consultation zone. Hello, and welcome to what for me is a very sad, sad moment. The consultation zone. Games Master, I love all the levels on Zero Squirrel, but is there any way of getting straight to them? Where there's a will, there's a way. Pause the game and enter this code. A, C, R, A, B. You'll receive a gold American Express card accepted in every single one of the zero levels. That should keep you in credit. Thanks a lot, Games Master. That will do nicely. Next, please. Games Master, on King of Fighters 94, I keep on getting beaten up. Give us a hand. When you've been beaten up on this beat-em-up, so much that your character becomes stunned, push B and C together and you'll find a healthy teammate will come to your rescue, giving you valuable time to recover. Thanks, Games Master. I'll have the very last one, please, and not a minute too soon. I think I've seen all the levels on Probotector on the Mega Drive. Can this be so? Well, I just may know of a little secret tranny to poke your nose into. On the level where you're being attacked by the bikers, you will come to a wall with the writing on it. Most people shoot the doors here. Don't. Jump above the door and climb the wall, and you'll reach a guard with a question for you. Accept his invitation, and you will find yourself in a hidden arena with some extremely difficult bosses to battle with. You're on your own now. Thanks, Games Master. You've been a real help. Well, that's it for me and the consultation zone, at least for now. I'm sure there are a million other little queries out there, and I'd love to see them all, maybe next time. Ta-ta. Welcome back. More gratuitous tomfoolery in this half, starting with the Consultation Zone. Welcome to a very special Consultation Zone, where I'll look to shed light on some of the darkest games. Who dares to be first? Games Master, I can't get any further on his statica on the PC. I've come to a room where there's a small door, but I don't seem to be able to get through it. It is the way to go, but since you're too big to fit through it, try a bit of magic. First, collect a twig from the church, travel to the house of the drunken bear, and make your way upstairs, carefully avoiding your host's vicious lunges and desperate habitus. In the room containing the book, Drop the twig into the funny-looking pot. Now, collect two more items to complete your spell. A flower from outside the church and a shrub. Take each of these back to the book room and put them in the pot too. Before you can say, Paul Daniels, you will be transformed into a little weasel who can pass through the door and continue on this most worrying of adventures. Thank you. I am forever in your debt. Who else wants me to plumb their depths? Games Master, when playing Island of the Dead on my PC, I find that my shotgun isn't powerful enough. Can I get a better weapon? I'll tell you how to get tooled up. There's a second, more powerful shotgun in the shed next to the decaying skeleton. But if you try to use it, it will blow your head off. So use the oil on the rag, then the oily rag on the gun. Now you can fire this super gun and keep your head too. Easy, when you know how. Cheers, Games Master. You're a star. Let me indulge one more query. Games Master, I heard for the arcade game Bloodstorm, there were some nasty fatalities on it. Can you tell me how to pull them up, please? I must confess to enjoying a strange sensation observing this flesh fest, especially when the blunt-witted razor spread the little happiness with this special meat grinder fatality. To execute this objection you want to move, get close and press forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, and up. Then watch your opponents open their heart to you and let it all come pouring out. Yeah, safe so through fight. Even I sometimes run out of interesting things to say, so I'll bid you farewell. Goodbye. <laughs>
We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day.